Thanks for tuning in, and I'm Lauren Gaw, and this is Life Above the Clouds, and this week my friend Kay is going to show me her pumpkin dinner roll recipe. Let's do it. Well, how did you, where did this recipe come from? So this recipe, I've had it for a really long time. Um, you could use any kind of squash. I just like pumpkin because I'm one of those basic So bitches. like zucchini squash? Yes! Zucchini squash, acorn squash, kabocha. So you have like literally any kind of squash. Yeah. Because it adds that okay. kind of like difference in flavor. <laughs> difference in flavor. <laughs> anyway. I love it. Yeah. And pumpkin is perfect because it's November 1st. So um, if you guys don't already know and follow my Instagram, I've already had a Christmas tree up for weeks. <laughs> it's right over there. It's <laughs> over there in the corner. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm ready for Thanksgiving and I'm ready for Christmas and we're... Ready. Just ready for the season. Yeah, right? Okay. okay, so what do we do to start with our rolls? Okay, so we're gonna start to mix all of the dry ingredients. Okay. So I guess we'll just, this is five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. You could also use cup for cup. I've done it before. It works What's perfectly cup for fine. Cup? cup for cup is like a gluten-free version that like literally you can use cup, cup for, for cup. cup. Oh. I know, it's the best. Cause then you don't have to think about it. You're like, oh, like, yeah. cause you know some gluten-free When you're you doing substitution, it too wet yeah. yeah. Okay. It perfectly, but anyway. All right, so here is our flour. Watch me just like spill it. That's okay. That's <laughs> what vacuum cleaners are for. Also, by the way, I though I cook a lot, I am not neat <laughs> at all. I feel like that shows that you cook a lot is having a messy kitchen. Yeah, it's always messy. Right? Okay, we got and our flour. We got our flour. We got, what is this, three quarter cups of sugar. Mm-hmm. Two tablespoons of salt. Okay. Where's our yeast? Right there. A package of yeast. All goes in there. Boom. Cool. Should we mix up? Yeah. That's fancy chicken. What a professional baker. Um, thank you. My boyfriend <laughs> gave it to me for Christmas many years ago. That's a keeper, right? All right, that looks pretty incorporated. Yeah, Dude, well, you're just making more of a mess. It's like, let me dust flour all over the place. It was on my hands. <laughs> oh, Mike Finney says the aspect ratio is messed up. You are too short. <laughs> I know. Mike Finney, I am too short. I'm only 5'1", but you're right. The um, If you saw the video last week, we actually had a double screen. With like and, a green line in the middle. Yeah, and, and like... we were having the exact same problem, but instead of seeing two of us, double, four of us, mm. we just zoomed in. Which is on, probably also why it's blurry. Right, which is probably also why it's blurry. But um, I'm also recording this video and like the past two weeks, I will edit this down into a shorter just the instructions, instructional video and post that later on my channel. Oh, perfect. So if you guys don't wanna hang out with us, even though we're super duper fun. We're so excited. <laughs> Are you ready? The next exciting thing that's about to happen is we're gonna add butter. <gasps> I love butter. Oh my god. I, so yeah, talk about great. the the butter ratio situation. Right. So in the end, we are going to have 36 rolls. So I usually like to do one tablespoon of cannabis butter per 12 servings. So that means we are using three tablespoons of cannabis butter and three tablespoons of regular butter right now. Obviously, if you want stronger rolls, you can use more cannabis butter. If you want weaker rolls, you can use less. Or you don't have to use any at all because we're family friendly too. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get this going. So we're gonna mix the butter in slowly. Do you want to okay. turn it on yeah. while I like drop some oh. butter? Gotta crank it up. You know. Yeah. So we're just gradually adding in our cubed butter a piece at a time. Yeah. And why are we doing it this way instead of just dumping it all in there? Because then it helps it like incorporate all over the flour. Mm. I think that's what gets it to be perfectly like layered and yeah you know what I mean? but right I don't, I don't know English <laughs> I can see that <laughs> it's my it's my first first language do you want me to get you a towel or something oh oh my god ew the cannabis butter is just getting started Come on. <laughs> why is that ew I would I don't know I would never just eat like plain butter but our dog is obsessed with butter like I love butter will, like it's so good just by itself? Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like butter. I guess. 
<laughs> Are you? Have you ever tried Paula Deen's fried butter recipe? That like famous butter. How do you fry butter? Doesn't it just melt? I think that's the point. I think that she. Oh, I've like never actually made, made it. it. Okay, she we should make it. She takes a stick of butter <laughs> and she breads it and then fries it. So when you bite into it, the butter is melted now oh on my the inside God. and like gushes out at you. I just came. Oh, is this ugh. appropriate for live? Oh, that sounds gross. That sounds amazing. That sounds so gross. Or we'll make it for me. Okay, we'll make it. <laughs> we'll make it for okay, anyone. Anyway. So then I'm adding um, equal parts of milk and water. By equal parts, she means one cup of water and one cup of milk. So you guys know exactly what's going what's on happening. in here. <laughs> You're the professional. I'm just doing things. I know. Should I? You guys want to show? See what the dough is looking like? Yeah. I'll show you. It's doughing. It's currently it looks dough. like dough. Here we go. Get ready for a roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh yeah! Look at it. Look at that doughy dough. <laughs> How adorable. Okay, so then while you're there, that might be okay. Cool. Tell me Should what's next. Should I just next? go ahead and add the half cup of pumpkin puree? All right, I'll watch. I'll watch you do it. <laughs> it looks like you have to get it in the bowl, though. It'll, it'll. My aim is also not very accurate. <laughs> you want to turn it off? What? You can turn it off. Oh, no, it's, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Alright. Should we lower it? Yeah. So you can turn it off on the other side. I'm just gonna clean up my mess. <laughs> That looks Theodore so cool. Night Falls. The mixer is making a funny sound, lol. Yeah, it does make like, kind of like a whining sound. It's Boy. like, how dare you do this to me? <laughs> I know, especially it's, when you mix things really thick, like a bread dough, you can like hear it. Harder. Yeah, you can hear the mixer having issues, and I'm like, oh, mixer, you can do it. The mixer's like, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> The mixer doesn't get paid enough. I put my mixer through a lot. I actually have two mixers. <laughs> They're both beat up. They really are. Uh, all right. So I think that's pretty. I think I got it at least off of the Yeah, that's spatula. fine. That should. And then this is great. This is a great be. bread recipe because we don't even have to knead it. Oh, fuck that. Don't curse on them. Sorry. We're live. F that. <laughs> Fudge that. Fudge that. <laughs> for, do you, Sorry, do you I have a really bad The map. Good Place. Yeah, for, for Fork that. that. Oh, Guys, The good, good Place is a really cute show. It is really cute. Have totally. you seen the Four Seasons yet? I haven't yeah, seen I just saw the re most recent episode earlier today. I heard this season's gonna be like... This is the last season. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what's up, gonna happen. All. I don't want to give any spoilers out there for people who haven't seen it yet. <coughs> Alright, so I'm just waiting till it's like fully orange. Fully orange. And when, okay. where did you say you got this recipe from? I don't even remember. I've had it forever. Oh. It's well, it's just like, like, I wanted just, you to say, like, this is my grandmother's recipe or like something like that. I'm like, that I found cute. it online. I'm not that cute. <laughs> I found it online and then I'm pretty sure I doctored it, like, I doctor everything. Yeah. And, yeah. That's how I make it like my recipes. Way. Yeah. You find something online or like a recipe that you yeah. start with, and then you say, "Well, I want to change that," and you mix things yeah. around. Because then sometimes you're, you're like, "I don't want to use that." Like instead of maple, I want to use honey. Or like, right. And then you try to make it your own. Looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'll show you guys what it looks like again. I hope. <laughs> All right, what do you think of that? It looks pretty orange. Can you see? Yeah. Our pumpkin looks pretty evenly distributed. Yeah? All right. All right. So we can go ahead and just use the same bowl. Okay. So that we don't have to bother with extra dishes. Right? <laughs> Who wants that? We don't like to do dishes around here. So now we have to let our dough rise. Um, we're just going to leave it in the bowl that it's in, Yeah. that we mixed it in. Cover it with a, you know, um, a damp, hot 
kitchen towel. Mm -hmm. And I usually, you can put it in your oven because it kind of okay, holds heat in it. or... Um, I actually put it on top of my stove because the pilot light is always on on my stove, which mm -hmm. doesn't seem safe, but it's always warm. Um, you can also put it like on top of the dryer if you have clothes so drying. Going, Just yeah. like somewhere that's It'll, kind of warm. Well, kind of warm and then the, the moist towel will give it like some humidity, which helps the yeast get going and eat its eat stuff. Sugar. Eat stuff, yeah. And um, that's what and gives that's, it the fluffiness. Right? I mean, it's basically like yeast is eating stuff and then farting. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeast fart. It's, really, and then it's, it's a beautiful it, like, romance. Puffs it up. And what we're going to do is wait for our dough to rise to double its size, which usually takes about an hour. But um, because we're awesome, we already made a, ba a batch about an hour ago. Here, I'll and swap um, it. we haven't checked on it yet. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it, it did what we wanted it to do. Okay, Derek Jones says zoom out a little on OBS. Okay. Thanks, Derek Jones. Thanks, Derek Jones. How do I do that? Is that helping? Well, now you can see the little green line. Well. Um. Okay, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab our other batch of dough. I'll be right back. Um, what do I need to do with it? What? What do we do with it? Oh, well, let me grab this pan. Okay, do we need to butter the pan or? Yes, we should butter the it? pan. Okay, I'm gonna okay. clean up some of this stuff. Let me get a little bit of butter. Let me get some beauty to back. Please, just like a teensy bit. Oh, I'm just bringing the whole darn thing. Okay. So. Oh, I like your style. Just put it in with your hands. Yeah. She's also going to lick her hands after this. I will. Are you ready? <laughs> I usually use my little brush, which we're going to need in a second. Or you can use the wrapper of the butter. I just like get into it. In. Like I'm fueling my cooking right now, you know? Yeah. Isn't that like what it's all this about? Is, this is called putting your heart into it. <laughs> Makes it taste better. Putting your blood, sweat, and tears into it is more like it. Are your hands clean? I pet the dog. Oh, yum! I'm just kidding. My hands are clean. I mean, it's okay. Sometimes the dog kisses my face, and like your mouth is just slightly open. He just gets, is, he's able to get his tongue in your mouth sometimes, and you're like, well, I wonder what you were looking. On our walk today, I think he was eating vomit on the curb. That's cute. Yeah. That's nutrition. Ugh. Pre-digested, you know. Just... I mean, it's better than poop. Dogs also like to eat poop. I <laughs> mean, maybe your dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I eat grown buds. I love being medicated and overeating on Friday nights. The best. <laughs> OMG, hands on. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Is it Friday night for you? What time zone are you in? I yeah. eat grown buds because for us, we're in Los Angeles right now, and it's two sixteen. Because we actually started our stream on, on time. time. That's okay. very unlike me. <laughs> Even though we were having technical difficulties, we were just like, we're just running with it. Okay, so by the way, what I'm doing is I buttered it, and then I'm mm -hmm. putting like a light layer of flour. So I just put a little bit of flour, and I tap it around, and it kind of... Yeah, show them. It's show hard them to see. Okay. Yeah, so she, with her hands, she smeared the butter all over the pan. We're going to sprinkle the butter, and then, I mean the flour. We're going to sprinkle the flour, and then we kind of just spread it around so it dusts, dusts. The pan. Because you don't want like a cake of flour. Right. You just you want just like want a little. Light. And then you tap it out. Usually over the sink, but the sink's over there, so. It's really clever. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now, okay. now that it doesn't matter because oh. I am going to touch the dough. Yes. Derek Jones said, I would eat your vomit. That's, that's really re disgusting. That's, no, I think that's romantic. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could try it. We'll try it later. How's that sound? 
I Eat Grown Buds says, I'm 30 minutes away from Los Angeles in the Inland Empire. Oh. I eat. I get it. Ha-ha. I've actually never been to the Inland Empire. Really? You haven't been like up to Mount Baldy or anything? No. They have a really cute ski lift that you can just ride all year round to go to the top. Oh, really? It's really awesome. Yeah. I've always... Ski lifts that run, they, ski lifts always run in the summer, and yeah. I have always skied since I was little, and so I only go to the mountains when they're covered with snow, but I feel like they'd be so beautiful during the summer. Yeah, it's when, really nice. Yeah. But you should also go during the winter, they have right. snow there. Yeah. And Kay actually just came back from a camping trip, where were I you? did, I was in Havasupai. How was it? Amazing, I'm exhausted, my ass hurts, me, <laughs> but... How long were you gone for? <laughs> I was gone for uh, about a week, I did yeah. like four, four nights in Supai. It was like about like, what was it, like 40 miles in four days. Wow. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, I'm a big backpacker. Yeah. And then I, I also made my own chili and dehydrated it. and then I saw it on it. your Instagram. Oh, you guys, if you follow Kay on Instagram, what's your handle? It's your canis. It's your canis. I'll link it in the description section later. She does cooking videos on her Instagram. Yes, I do. So but they're she- all for like camping, backpacking kind of. Centric. You gotta have your niche. Yeah. Mine yeah. all have weed in them. Except it's like really <laughs> extra where you could just go get a prepackaged, yeah. you know, dehydrated food and add water, or you could bring your meals with you. Right? I actually went, Derek and I went camping with some of our friends, and uh, we went and bought all of our camping food from Trader Joe's. We just bought like the pre made stuff that Trader Joe's has. Oh, yeah, nice. They have, you know, great pre made stuff. Yeah. Um, just like the sandwich rolls or like oh, perfect. whatever, or the little dishes that you just heat up in the stove. And yeah, so everybody's like eating their like beans and franks. And we're like, oh, let me just yeah. warm up this package <laughs> of stroganoff. It's so much up. more exciting that way though. Right? You're I like, know. oh, just, you know, here I am in the woods eating stroganoff. Yeah. And why <coughs> not? And then we also had all the s'mores stuff. Because s'mores, you guys know, are one of my favorite mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Do you know the trick to making s'mores like not messy? You put all the ingredients into a cup and like crumble them and then you put the marshmallow on top and mix it. So then you don't have it like gooey all over your face. Oh, but I Unless feel like you... that's the fun of it. Yeah. The fun I, of yeah, it is but like when you're making camping, the where you gonna sandwich. Wash your hands. And... Like, where... That's a good point. That's true. Like, what did you do? And your hands probably aren't clean anyway. No, see? So I mean, I like both. Good I like point. Both. Okay. Okay. So we're so now that my hands are buttered, they're not gonna stick. Do I need to butter my hands? <laughs> this has got to a totally. <laughs> okay, we're both daughters. <laughs> okay, so golf size balls. Golf size balls. Oh yeah. Oh, we're just eyeballing it. I would never eyeball it. I have scoops for this. But then they get stuck in the scoop. I guess. Okay, so golf size balls. And then... So we just grabbed it from our from our. Look. Okay, look how accurate that was. We both know by the way. By the way, so just about like a finger width apart from each other. Okay, is what I do. See, this is hilarious. Do you play golf? No, me neither. I hate golf. I mean, it's not my favorite thing. But we're just like such good bakers that we know exactly we know exactly what. (laughs) She says golf size balls. It's like if you said tennis size balls, I'd be like. You don't know what a tennis ball size is? I mean, I feel like it. It's you have dogs. They play with tennis balls, right? They eat them. That's that's what happens mm. in tennis balls. If you were, if you wanted to use a scoop, I feel like you could definitely use. You a probably scoop. could. I'm I feel like dramatic. it's probably like two tablespoons worth of dough. I would say. She's she's the baker. I feel like this one's a little big. It'll be more delicious. The bigger, the better. The yummier. The bigger, the better. The yummier. Mm-hmm. It's true. So we actually have so much dough that we're gonna need two trays. Oh, we need. Oh no, we don't need to preheat the oven yet. But you can freeze. You can freeze the rest, and then just let it go to room temperature, um, right? Because we made a, an extra batch of dough to show you guys, and then this one that we made ahead of time. Kay and I have. We're gonna be so roll, many rolled out this season. Rolls. You, this is too big. See, this is stressing me out. I'm too much of a perfectionist to, <laughs> to do eyeball it like this because I want them all to be the same size, which I also feel like is important because. When you're dosing edibles, you want them all to be the same True. It's like a strength. Point. Um, so you guys just use your judgment. Oh. You know, do it your way. Enjoy. Have a good right? job. Right? If you were like Kay, Kay would just eat the cannabis butter and like, then be I'm done. already eating it. She was just like licking her hands and then she's done. And then she would just like stop making the dough halfway through and like wander <laughs> off. It's because I 
already ate the cannabis butter. So post, so post rule making is. It's funny because when you offered me a gummy earlier, before we started, she offered me mm-hmm. a gummy, and I was like, what kind of gummy? I really thought it was going to be a like cannabis exciting. gummy. I'm sorry. It was just an energy gummy. I know. I have some if you want one. Okay. <laughs> sure. They're over there. My hands are a little messy, but we can get them later. We should probably go post live, like after we eat the rolls. I know. A lot of people have said that actually, like, you should do a video of, like, you eating, you know, the stuff that you make and then do uh, And then, like, watch the transgression with the next, like, 20 minutes. Which is a very fun idea, but I feel like I'm, you know, I try to be careful about, like, the stuff that I put out to the public. (laughs) And I don't ever want to do something that I would regret later. Right. So that's why you guys have never really seen the aftermath of of eating these things. Just so you know. That's very wise and smart, unlike the person who already cursed on on live. I think that you and I have a very different image that we're going for. Going for I like actually a... used to have purple hair, though. <coughs> it was, was really cute. I'm sorry I'm coughing, by the way. We recently I know, had this fire. is gross! <coughs> <laughs> no, we had fires. My asthma's been bothering me. And, like, so for those this... who have asthma, you kind of Are we doing another row? And it's really gross. Why am I still talking about it? Anyway, what? Are we doing another row? Yeah. Here's our little golf balls so far. Guys. We're going to do cute. a little row. I guess we could... I'm going to round them out with my finger. Okay, fine. Just a little because then... When they um, rise, they'll be more. Now, rolls. could you make bigger rolls? Like, we were talking about tennis ball size rolls. Could you make You could. Ones? I feel like you would just have it they, in the oven for a little bit longer. But yeah. they double in size when they... They do. So, after we make these, we're actually going to let them rise again. Yes. Um, because we've already, like, kind of patted down all of the gas bubbles. So we're gonna regas them up. We're gonna regas them. <laughs> we, you gotta let those yeasts fart, you know? I guess they could be burping. Which do you prefer, the yeast farts or the yeast burps? I mean, they do both, clearly. They do both. Yeah. They're getting real gassy. At least they're quiet about it. I find that very respectful. <laughs> I think I mine aren't coming out round because it's starting to stick to my hands too much. <laughs> you need more butter. We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> so how, are, how would you freeze this dough? Because we're obviously <laughs> have a lot of dough. Um, I would, um, put it in parchment paper and then wrap it in, um, in balls or in a Oh, no, as a, as, a whole, as a whole. As a whole. Because then, typically how I've done it. Okay, you need to round mine. Okay. Round, round. <laughs> round. Oh, my ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Cannot make balls. These have gotten much bigger. <laughs> this is what happens. I can't. I can't keep it consistent. They're still gonna be delicious. That's what's important. Okay, you got the last ball. Okay. Um, but you yeah. Round me out. So typically, <laughs> somehow I feel like that was a little gross. You to round me out. I mean, we're rolling balls. What's wrong with rolling balls? I feel like that wouldn't feel good. <laughs> no, this wouldn't feel good. <laughs> Okay, anywho. Anywho. So freezing them. So what I've done before is I've, I've wrapped it in parchment so it doesn't stick to anything. Mm-hmm. And then put it in a container, froze it, and then I just let it come to room temperature, roll, and then put the um, moist kitchen towel on top, let it rise till double. Once they double, they will be touching. Or mm-hmm. just just touching. Just touching. Just touching. And then, um, then they're ready to bake. Now, if I wanted to roll them... Pre-roll. Pre-roll them. I mean, you could. And then put like a layer of wax paper or parchment paper oh, in yeah. between so that they're already made rolls. And so then much smarter. pull out a few at a time if I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I'm only saying like this is what I, I would do with a cookie dough. That makes sense because then you wouldn't do a whole tray. You right. just want to do like five of them or whatever. Yeah, like if I just yeah. wanted to do a couple rolls cool. for dinner for two people or, you know, dinner for four people, I could just yeah. do that. I mean, yeah. Love it. They all work. Okay, so here is our tray full of dough balls, and uh, we are going to, do we need to cover them again to yes, let them rise? Yes, cover them, keep them in a moist environment, keep them in a moist let them rise to double, and then in the meantime, we're going to make um, rosemary maple butter. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, we can also do that while um, huh. while, while they're baking. Are you enjoying? I love it. Play-Doh. It's like Play-Doh. Am I not supposed to be playing with this? I mean, why not? You're just adding some uh, <laughs> more flavor. Right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to get cleaned up, and I will be right back. informed me that we are going to steep <laughs> we're going to steep the maple syrup and the rosemary well, which which pulls out the oils from the rosemary which pulls out the oils from the rosemary which okay. is very very right, true right. but it's so funny when we were talking about what we were going to make um i cuz i think it's fun to have my friends come over and show me you know one of their favorite recipes because i've been showing you guys some of my favorite recipes <laughs> But Kay, Kay loves all of these like super fancy complicated recipes and I'm like, okay, first of all, like we gotta simplify this so that, you know, I can follow along and you guys can follow along and... But look how like, cute this hot plate is! I know, this is my... It's so adorable! I know, you guys have seen this hot plate week after week because um, I did, two weeks ago we did the live stream in the kitchen, but... Is it reaching? We can move it. Yeah, I know, I think it... Um... It but does. it's just so cramped in my kitchen right now, and uh, mixer's going over here. Can you, um, do you want to unplug me? And I'll just move my oh, thing. yeah. Okay. Theodore Nightfall. I see someone's head below the green line. Yes, that's our that's, heads, that's, actually. Yeah, There's that's four of head us. reappearing. Yeah. There are not people under the table. <laughs> oh. That would be a whole nother show. <laughs> Um, Mako Oiwa, I, is that how I pronounce your name? Likes the farts. Oh, good. Yeah, farts. Me too. That was, that was my Yeast preferred. farts. Yeah. Um, may I have a saucepan? <sighs> I, I tried looking for one, but I, I, I failed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I was basically the worst person to, to ask to cook live, because I was like, Everything that I make takes five takes hours. Five hour. Hey, it's my, it's like my therapy. What is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to make, like ever. Yeah, ever. Is fideos over a campfire. What's it, what are fideos? Fideos are like, like spaghetti, like pasta, but they're cut into like one inch size. So it's like, say, okay. so you cook it like kind of like you do paella, oh. but you're using pasta instead of rice, and then I add like. Chicken or seafood or whatever. It all that sounds, sounds very fun. fancy. It's amazing. But I find it Words really Words that we've never heard of before. I find it very therapeutic. Um, oh, I'll cook it for you. Sorry, I have to keep an eye. This is why I keep looking away. I am listening to you, but um, I always try to keep up with the comments. Why would you listen to me? Please don't. <laughs> Theodore Nightfall says, LOL, I just realized that too. And then Mako Oiwa says, wow, thank you. Said it good. Smiley face. Yay. <laughs> I said it right. Yay. Uh, all right, I got you your saucepan. Um, what was it? <laughs> we're making, we're making oh, yeah. the butter. Okay. Do I need to preheat the oven while we're doing this too? Sure. <laughs> sure. Kay, Kay is doing a really good job giving the instructions. This is just, it's because I usually do it alone and I just like, I don't tell people <laughs> Okay, anyway. It's okay, I can read your mind. Isn't that amazing? She read my mind. Okay, so. 
so warm. Ooh, it will take how, a little while. It's got to high, heat up. medium, low, warm. We'll do high since you said it takes. It, it does. Long. It's a little slow. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put probably a cup of maple syrup in there. Do you want to measure it, or are we eyeballing it? I'm probably gonna eyeball it. Yeah, I don't typically measure. <laughs> You, but you just like got freaked out about the butter. Well, because I was gonna we were baking, because I can't bake. So this is like probably bread. I can do bread because mm -hmm. I follow it to a T, and I've done it like a thousand million times and effed it up a million times. Mm -hmm. But like cupcakes, cookies, I they're all flops. Really? Yeah. Because when I cook, I just like eyeball everything and kind of just go with it, and it kind of stresses me out when it's like perfect. Mm, and then so then they don't come out like they don't rise like cake will not will be uneven or like super dense like and I'm, I'm like baking you big like batter all over your face um, that's so funny because I feel like I'm not super super careful about my ingredients but yeah I guess I, I just I do guess, it the opposite way I like, guess because I know like what it's supposed to look like yeah. and what because it's like, okay, you think about like your grandma that used to make stuff. She's just throwing stuff in and mixing it. She's not measuring it. Right, true. You know? If I did that with baking, it'd be like, oh, it's right. not moving. Which like baking is a science. And you yeah, do need certain see, that's a thing. ratios of ingredients to make it come out the way you want it. Yeah. But see, I math and me just don't. We don't this is along. true. I was talking about how many tablespoons of butter we were using, and she had no idea what I was I saying. I was like, I don't know, three ounces? That's not a tablespoon. <laughs> Well, when you get a stick of butter, it is in tablespoons. Not always. Yeah, it has like little marks. Oh, well, that's true. Except the butter I get is from Costco, yeah, uh, so it has like zero this marks. Big. It's like a giant, <laughs> it's half a pound of butter, or a pound of butter. It's too funny. Okay, so. It feels warm. Okay, we are. Oh, ooh, this is a brand new maple syrup. Why do I have this? Why do you have this? I don't know. Do you go through a lot of maple syrup? No. I also have another another fancy bottle of maple syrup that someone gifted me from. Oh, I'm glad you had it because I don't have it. I'm upstate. I actually don't super like maple syrup. You should have told me that. No, like I like maple syrup like in things, like maple uh -huh. flavoring. But like if I'm eating pancakes, I prefer the fake maple syrup over eating real oh, maple syrup. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I actually, with pancakes, I actually really like just butter and sugar. Mmm, interesting. Melted butter. See, I You and butter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to stab this one second. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that the maple, I just prefer that artificial flavoring. sweet flavor of, of the fake so funny. high fructose corn syrup. Syrup. Maybe you just like high fructose corn syrup. Maybe Probably. Who yeah, doesn't like high fructose corn? corn syrup? Do you love corn? I don't love corn. Corn no. is good. But high fructose corn syrup doesn't taste like corn. It just tastes no, like it sweet. Doesn't. But it's really bad for you guys. You shouldn't be eating it. Let's just okay, don't, listen to don't listen to me. <laughs> sugar is bad for you. As we add some I sugar. We'll I was actually just watching. Um, have you seen the Netflix documentary series <sighs> Rotten? No. So they do different topics each episode, and it's basically like, not it's not about like the food itself, like the nutritional value of the food. It's basically about like the the politics or the process behind mm. getting that food. So there's like an episode on avocados, on chocolate, on sugar, and it talks about like the history of like sugar cane and basically how we only can started using sugarcane because of slavery because we mm -hmm. needed slaves to harvest sugarcane because it's such a terrible process and like all these things and I'm like I can't eat any of these yeah. things anymore yeah. it's terrible it, it's I, I I have to stop watching those things because it makes me so emotional oh gosh. like that basically documentaries have ended for me when I saw the dark side of chocolate oh I haven't seen that one yeah don't because it's gonna ruin your life I mean you should it's in I mean the politics of chocolate is in, Important, yeah, so you should. There's an but it will, but it will ruin the way you look at a lot of the popular brands of chocolate. I know, and so I don't. I'm very picky with like where I spend yeah. my. It's funny. I actually can't like, eat a lot of chocolate because I'm allergic to soy, and a lot of chocolates use soy oh, yeah. lecithin mm -hmm. as an as emulsifier mm -hmm. in chocolate. Emulsifier. Because it needs emulsifying anyway. Yeah. But well, I'm, I, well, in that case, then you're already doing yourself a favor because you're probably buying chocolate that is like well sourced. Oh, good. And have less filler in it. 
by default because you can't eat it. I know. It's so sad. it's kind of like I'm a happy um, accident in a weird way. I don't know. Being allergic to soy is like a pain. Yeah. But Kay is allergic to everything also, so. Yeah, basically. Yeah. The That's one that sesame seeds. That one <laughs> cracks me up. The sesame seeds. Like when we go out to eat at a restaurant, she has to like make sure that the bun on yes. the hamburger doesn't have sesame seeds. You don't think or, about those things, but yeah. they have sesame in everything. I can't have hummus. People are very upset about oh, that. Oh yeah. I don't even know what it tastes like. Sesame. Well, like hummus. I, oh hummus. Like I have an but, idea. But what you can get like. hummus with chickpeas. Are you? But chickpeas, chickpeas and tahini is what makes hummus. Like, but you can make your own. You don't have to put tahini in it. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be hummus. It'd be chickpea paste. It's close. I'm just saying. Ooh, I have tried to make it with green peas. Oh, we're boiling. We are this. boiling here. Okay, so, so. We have our maple syrup boiling. And then I'm going to stick in one, whatever, however it melts. some nice sprigs that Kay got from her garden. Yeah. What do you grow in your garden? Um, I have oranges. I have Thai basil, regular basil. Wow. I'm going to show. I have cucumbers. Oh, yeah. This is what we got going on. I probably need like a spoon, but yeah, that's what's. Look how cute. Yay. I love this little, I want, I want this little mini hot pot. It's so adorable. Isn't it great? And even, even your saucepan fits in it it's so perfectly. It's perfect. Okay. We need a little So I'm going to put it down to like medium low so it's not really going to. I took that off because it was boiling a little too high and we don't want that kind of a mess. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, this smells so nice. Oh, this is, we got it real hot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to turn it off because it's really hot and let that cool. And then and it'll. That's it. I mean, uh, once it gets hot, oh, we're real hot. You can already smell the rosemary. It smells so good. It smells like maple syrup and rosemary. I wonder why. <laughs> That's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And once again, guys, if anyone is just tuning in with us, because we have six viewers right now. Wow. We are making pumpkin dinner rolls. We already made our dough, and we let it rise for an hour, and then we formed golf-sized balls, and we're letting that rise. And in the meantime, we are also going to make some maple... Oh, my gosh, it's still so it's hot. It's too hot. We're I'm making some maple a... rosemary butter uh, to go with it. So we actually have... Oh, we can. I can just put it on the... <coughs> Here, oh, okay. to get it. Sure. Um, so we just let our rosemary cook with our maple because it's going to extract the rosemary oils and flavor that maple syrup. Oh, we have five viewers now. Somebody left. How dare you? <laughs> I think it's really cool that you, even though five doesn't seem like a lot of people, I think it's cool that there's actually five people out in the world that are watching us right now. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Live. And what's, I mean, I also can't knock it because this is going to go on for a while because we're making bread. I know. So it still has yeah, to we're rise. Yeah, out, you know. But they can tune in later and see, like, start where they left off. Yeah. So. And, of course, I will also shorten, shorten the video into just the instructions so it's easier to follow along if you're just wanting the recipe. But since you guys want to hang out with us, you know. <laughs> I'm going to let that maple syrup cool for a little bit. Should I check on the rolls? Sure. So you guys, I'm okay because we were in acting class together uh, many years ago. <laughs> right? Oh, oh, I, oh man, has it been that long ago? Has it been? It's been a few years. We were in acting class together and we became friends because we. I feel like we have a lot in common or we have a lot of the same viewpoint opinions. True. I don't know. We just get along. <laughs> we're both awesome. That's why we're friends. <laughs> Who's the one who's 30 minutes away from hanging with us? What? I said, who's the one who's 30 minutes away from Oh, I eat, I eat grown buds in Inland Empire. Ooh. Could come hang with us. Yeah, right? I feel like, I always thought that Inland Empire was more than 30 minutes away. I mean, probably right now it's fine, but I'm sure, like, once school is out, it takes really long. Yeah. Are they rising at all? No. Oh. I hope, minute. I hope our yeast isn't, like, dead. Do you Sometimes put it in the store in the fridge? No, I just bought that packet, so oh. it's fresh. So it shouldn't, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, sometimes making fun. bread is always, it's so fickle, because because you're working with yeast, which is actually live, live yeah. um, things can go wrong. Yeah. Well, it'll it'll rise, it just doesn't take a, 
a yeah. little bit. It's only so. been like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm super impatient. <laughs> It's also like getting really That's warm pro- in here with like the heat plate and the lights and the oven on. Like I'm sweating. How hot is it? Am I gonna burn my finger? Did you? Is it hot? It's super hot. Oh my gosh. So Kay just brought some butter in here. How much butter is this? This is like a stick of butter. Yeah. Just about. Just about one stick of butter. And I'll probably put like I'm gonna eyeball it, but I'll probably put like half of the maple syrup in there. Okay. And then you could save it for. All of the pancakes you eat. All the pancakes. Oh, yeah, this would be good. Or, or just save it just to dip the rolls in. Would also right. be good. Um, just yeah. save it for all of your butter needs. Mm-hmm. Or we could just make more butter. Oh, uh, Theodore oh. Nightfall says I'm staying. Yay! Staying to hang out with us? Yeah, obviously. Thank you. I'm an expert baker with zero <laughs> hours of baking experience. <laughs> Yes. Wait, are you being sarcastic or I just want to make sure because sometimes things don't translate in the comments. Maybe that was a typo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be zero or a hundred. <laughs> right? A hundred hours, which is a lot of hours yeah. of baking experience. I don't know. I feel like people like Kay get so nervous about baking because it's all scientific, but I... I feel like it's also like trial and error and experimenting yeah. in the kitchen. And if you can follow the instructions of a recipe and like measure things, I can't do that. That's <laughs> my first problem. I know. Kay did say that she can't speak English. She can't read it either. She's just nope. having so many issues. Just so many issues today. But I like butter. But she <laughs> likes butter, and that's the win. Learned. Okay, wait. So let me. So you guys can see what's going on. What is going on? So are you? So this do you need like a whisk? Yeah. How are you gonna mix it in there? Just. By mixing. Okay, I'm gonna show them close up. I'm gonna do it little by little because I, I usually taste as I go. Oh, she just wants to eat more butter. Basically, so what's happening is the hot maple syrup is melting the butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it up. Oh my god. Meshy, meshy. I like your cam- handheld camera skills. Oh, thank you. It's pretty good. What do you guys think? I think her handheld camera skills are pretty. I try really hard not to be shaky. B.A. Okay, we're going back. I'm going to trip it. Trip it? I'm going to trip it. All right. I have also made a honey cinnamon butter, which would go Ooh, that would well go with well this. Too. But I, I didn't, cinnamon. this is like way too much effort. I just threw it all in my mixer and let my mixer do it. I could do that. <laughs> but then we have to like wash the mixer. I know. So many dishes to wash. Ugh. Ugh. This thing. Yeah. We have time. We um, have time. Theodore Knight Falls says, oh no, that was 100% the truth. Okay. I don't bake at all. I love it. Whatever. How do you describe that that's smile a, face? That's a... The X eyes face. The, the, <laughs> I love it. Well, that's how I feel right now. That's how you feel. <laughs> She's eating too much butter. <laughs> I love butter. Such a butter. <laughs> right? And guys, if you wanted to, you could also make this butter with cannabis butter if you wanted, you know. Yeah, if you wanted to add some that extra, extra oomph. Extra oomph. We're just using regular butter because Kay is eating it all and she has to drive home later, so. Actually, if you're not doing anything, do you want to go to Ben and Jerry's? Yes. Guys, today is yes, Vegan Day. National Vegan Day, something uh-huh. like that. So Ben and Jerry's, to celebrate, is giving away one free scoop of their non-dairy vegan oh. ice cream to between 4 and 8 p.m. Do you know what it's... Um, what the base is? Is it like almond or almond or coconut? I don't know. Oh, I'm just kidding. Will you eat it because you're allergic to almonds? Yeah, we put almond milk in there. <laughs> we did. I'm supposedly <laughs> allergic to almonds, but I've eaten almonds and I've had zero issues. Yeah, it's fine. Or or maybe that's that's how, like the brain loss and like knowing English. Maybe that's oh, yeah. the problem. But you can be allergic to things, and then it's not it's not like a it's death not, a deathly allergy. No, and it's not, and know? it's not necessarily like it's gonna be like an oral issue or right. digestive issue. Sometimes it's like literally the tree, and you can't touch the tree. Mm. How often am I hung, hugging almond trees? Never. I've never even seen one. I've never seen one either. Hmm. I actually is there an almond farm somewhere? Where do they grow almonds? Is, I don't think, is that a California thing? I mean, I know pistachios are a California thing. They are have, they? like, the wonderfuls, like, Do all up and down. Do they grow on trees? 
Like, they don't even know what, they like... They are a tree nut. <laughs> I, I, like, it's funny because you don't think this. about that. No, I don't. I've only seen in real life a pecan tree. Well, that's interesting. So, because they have pecan trees in Texas, huh. where I am from. And so, like, when I think about, like, almonds or, you know, whatever other nuts, like, I just don't think it... I don't know why I wouldn't think of that also being on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I don't like... Just a little beat more. This is gonna be really fun because I have to write up the recipe later, so I'm just gonna make it up. It's literally it's it's basically half of the maple syrup and a yeah, like butter. half a cup. Yeah. Okay. But Let's you see. know, go with your flavor. If you like it sweeter, add more. It'll all solidify in the fridge. So. Yeah. Kay butter. also asked me. She was like, "Do you have a mold that you want to put the butter in?" Hey, some people <laughs> want them to what? mold. You can put them in like ice cube trays that are like shaped like stars. I do. And then I have, have ice cube trays shaped like stars. Well, let's do that. They would be God. really cute, like single serve, like that's. A, I I do. Have I'm a, so extra. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> or we or you could you know do it like this and you could it'd be shaped like a dome. <laughs> half moon, half moon. I, I I sent her on a scavenger hunt to find shape star shaped molds. I'm so excited. Yeah. See, we could have used a machine and it would have been faster. You can totally do that. I'm gonna move this. I just I just feel like I just like cried out all of my childhood memories in this therapy session making butter. Put it near the oven? Yeah, I put it in the sun. Okay. Okay. So, this is actually funny because I have these molds, and um, if you guys see my oven can of butter recipe, I actually use these molds. These are just like little candy so molds. Cute. Um, and I use these molds to portion out half a teaspoon of cannabis butter. And then I let those harden, and then I store those in a baggie in the freezer. So that way, if you store your cannabis butter like in a Tupperware, it's going to be a giant brick. And when you're trying to bake with it, it's really hard to measure out your tablespoon or however much you want. But if you already have them pre-measured, just, I just take out one or two stars, and it's already measured. That's perfect. Right? So that's my fun tip. You're so crafty. Thank you. I love it. Okay, so okay. are you better at this? Oh, gosh. The pressure is on. I'm, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> no one's judging. Except me. Except you. <laughs> so Did you taste it? You should taste it. Oh, it's I so didn't yummy. taste it. I will taste it in a second when I'm done pouring. I think how proud I am. I'm like, it's so yummy. It's I mean, that's like one of the fun things about cooking is mm -hmm. like immediately seeing the results. The results. Yeah. And being able to share that with somebody else mm -hmm. who will also enjoy it. I love sharing food. Even when I go out to eat, I'm like, so what do you want to eat? Do you want to try this? Because then I can never choose. Me too! So, so it's it's great when you like go, that's why we're friends. Because oh we no. often share food. Oh no. We can just I got too excited it. and one got super fat. I mean. Hmm. Okay. Joey's just. Yum. Right? But yeah, I think that's part of like why we started hanging out because we'd go yeah, eat, eat stuff, stuff and share and be able to try two different things as opposed right. to like my own. I feel like food should be a shared experience. Yeah. Like, and, that, and that would bring that would bring more people back into the kitchen cooking if they like mm -hmm. were sharing their food. And yeah, stuff. like Derek does not like to share food with Health me food. at all. <laughs> Like, he orders his thing, and that's his thing, and he wants to eat it, and he doesn't want to try mine, and he doesn't want me to try his. But at least he'll eat your vomit. Yeah. That's, I mean, you <laughs> you, you have to, you know. <laughs> so should I put this in the fridge? Yeah. And I'll just drink this. No. Should I get another mold? What if you want? Or, maybe, or just, we can just like, maybe we should ask the audience, should I drink this? I know, or should right? I put it in another if mold? Go to go to Lauren's Patreon and give us money no, for more. You can actually people. give money. You can give money in the live stream. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys! What? That this, is so cool. Okay, I if you if somebody donates money on this live stream, Kay is gonna drink, I'm gonna this drink butter. It. 
all of it. How much? It's, it how much like money glass. would how, you need yeah, that's to drink all that? How much oh, money? Oh, I I mean, it's so good. I'm being honest. You're like zero dollars. I'm gonna drink it right now. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Please don't. I, I mean, it looks like a little over a shot. It looks yeah yeah. You know that'd probably be really good with like fireball. Fireball <laughs> maple rosemary maple butter shot. Yeah. Come on, that sounds so fall. It sounds so, so fall. fall. <laughs> You're weird. So are you. I know, that's what we get along. <laughs> Everybody's weird in their own way. I love weirdos. Even the people that are, think that they're normal, they're like extra weird. That's even true. The fact that they think they're normal. Theodore Knight falls, do you accept IOUs? <laughs> no, man, can't do it. I mean... We need cold, hard cash. Cold, hard. Cash. You need to drive here <laughs> and give us cash. Wait, he's not the one from. He's I not either. the one oh, from Inland Empire. Theodore Knight Falls, where are you watching? <coughs> oh my gosh, Theodore Knight Falls donated one dollar. You oh, have to drink it. Okay, I'll drink it. Do you want it in Thank a shot glass? You. You're so sweet. Should I pour it in a shot glass? I guess for so we you? can see the volume. Oh my god, that's why I'm pouring a shot glass. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, so you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna be so hyper. Oh my god. <laughs> A lot of sugar. Isn't it cool that sugar comes from a tree? Can we just like have this discussion? Like maple syrup is fantastic. Like yeah, that is weird. That maple syrup, like someone's like, let me just let me just a hole stick a like you know a tree. tap in this tree. Okay, so this isn't my only shot glass. <laughs> it's got an agave plant I know, inside. Right? You're so fancy. Someone gave it to Derek. Okay, let's see. This looks like a cowboy shot. Cause isn't it like it looks bigger? Oh, ah! oh my god! <laughs> Wait, you don't have to drink all this, I swear. He's a, that was just a comment. I didn't really do it. Well, I'll do it. I'm not like. Oh gosh, you cheater! I mean, it's just a doll. You tricked us. Okay, well this will sit. I could still do it though. I'm like, I'm like. Wow. She's not gonna do it anymore. We were really going for it. I would still do it. You would still do it. What is worth me shotting that down? Oh my god, it's so good. Don't do it. Let's make more stars so we can save them later. <laughs> I'll let you lick the bowl. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make little melon shapes. Ooh. Strawberry. Melon shapes. How delightful. Omar says he will pay two dollars to pour it on yourself. What? Omar says that he will pay two dollars to pour it on myself. Oh! But then someone has to lick it off, and I feel like that's a totally different YouTube channel. Brazis would do it for sure. <laughs> Braz, Braz is like taking a nap it. right now. <laughs> oh, these are cute. This is another mold. So we got oranges, strawberries, strawberries, oranges sliced in a different way. All right, okay, this is all yours. You can you can do whatever you want it. with that. No, I don't know how you're gonna get it. Yeah, that's out of my tongue's not that long. It's not gonna happen. It's a true story. I'm just being realistic. Yeah, it's fine. I forgive you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check on this. Are they? Yeah. Oh, good. They still need time, but they're moving. They're moving. Did you hear? Our rolls are moving. They have risen a bit. They've risen a bit. So usually this second rise takes like 45 minutes probably. Yeah. Not as long as the first rise, but still like a good amount of time. I wasn't even going to say like we should have it already in the rolls, but then I was like, I don't need three batches. Oh, yeah, we could start um, doing like the making the dough balls. So 
While we wait for the rolls to rise, we're gonna do Lauren's idea and freeze them ball by ball. You want parchment paper? Sure, parchment, wax. I don't have... Either works. Oh, I have freezer paper also. Perfect. All of the above. Um, so, yeah. So this is actually perfect because my family is coming here for Thanksgiving. So that is gonna be my brother and his wife and my nephew, my parents and my aunt. And we're all going to celebrate Christmas here over Thanksgiving because my brother and his wife alternate which holiday they spend. Mm. So this year it's like our year for Thanksgiving and they'll spend Christmas with her family. And then next year it'll be, they'll spend Thanksgiving with her family and Christmas with oh. our family. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like our Christmas at Thanksgiving. And so now this is good that I have these bread rolls already, already making. Do you want the wax paper okay. side up? Sure. Okay. Theodore Night Falls. How long is the stream going to last? However long it takes, bud. Yeah, um, so no, that's actually true. We're waiting for our, roll, our rolls to rise. Um... Should I like bring it over? Kay's gonna bring it over here and show us what they look like now. And then once they rise enough to where we're happy, we're you gonna bake them. them oh, I'm gonna wet my hands. Um, and then we're gonna bake the rolls for about 25 minutes. So, and then we're gonna eat them. <coughs> so however long that takes. Yeah, so right now they're like at the midpoint. I don't know how if we can see them. Can but see? so some of them are starting to touch. You basically want them to just start to begin to touch. Here, let me, let me. That know. way when they bake and rise, mm -hmm. there'll be those dinner rolls that have like the touching edges that you like rip apart. Mm. You know? Um, so how long, I mean, I would say this is probably gonna be like another 20 minutes and then they're like 25 in the oven. So yeah. we'll be here for another We're just 40 hanging. to an hour. We hang in. No big deal. Um, you know what? I'm gonna reheat this. Perfect. Okay. I go do balls. Alright, so now I'm gonna ball it up. Okay. Do you want flour for your hands or do you just want water? Water works for me. Okay. Terribly sticky. I'm gonna show. These, these have become bigger. What? These have become bigger. Oh my god, that's huge. So I'm gonna show you guys. These are my favorite scoops that I use. Let's to, see this. Right? So that I use to make cookies or I use to make cupcakes so that they're always the same size. Um, because when you are dosing edibles, you want everything to come out the same size. And also because you want everything to look the same size. Um, this one, they have numbers, like you can, that's how you buy them, but I don't remember. This one's like a tablespoon and a half, and this one is like, uh, maybe three. It's like a quarter cup. Tablespoons? Yeah, maybe three. Um. Now I'm stuck. So. And it does stick, it does have this little, like, handy, when maybe, you. Does it, does it like, help to have, like, the, a cup of water to keep putting them in? I mean, maybe. But it does, like, cut the stuff out of it, if that makes sense. So this is gonna be big, bigger than a golf ball size. <laughs> this is like a huge, a huge roll. So here's one. Sometimes you like a big roll. Sometimes you, know? you want a big roll, it's true. So it's here's all, like. All, all, for all your preference. And I only have these two sizes, so. And oh. this is our little baby roll. There you go. This is like ping pong sized. So what, what do you think? Well, you're gonna have them for your, I'm stuck. Yeah, you're what really stuck. I know, that's the water I feel like doesn't work as well, this flour. Oh, the butter was perfect. The butter was perfect. I usually, just douse usually, myself in butter um, when, I'm, when I'm handling dough like this, I will dust my hands with flour. What is the easiest thing to bake for complete amateurs? Um, what is, what 
There's like simple things that you can make. If you want to bake, do you want a big dessert or do you want to make something that's more savory? Have you ever cooked dot 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 on weed question mark? On what? On weed question mark. I mean, yes, I have. It usually doesn't go well because I usually forget things. <laughs> this is so stuck to my hands. Yeah, bring some flour. We're just playing with our Play-Doh. See, see, I think for, you want me to bring flour? Yeah. Um, flour. So I would say like something like cookies are really easy to make. Um, because you don't have to be too concerned about like the texture of cupcakes. Yes. Like sometimes the cake can be too dense or the cake can be too, the cake batter can be too wet. Usually, see, like usually when I do it, I, oh, the flour's right there. Oh, the flour's so, right there. Usually when I, when I roll the balls, when I roll the balls, um, my hands have already been doused in butter when buttering the pan. Right. So it's not something, it's like an afterthought. So I just buttered like my hands. Look at that. Boom. See, this is, I would usually dust my hands with flour and then it's not mm -hmm. going to stick. Like I said, preference. Right? So should we do, should I do like little bowls? Sure. How do you want them? Mm -hmm. I mean, just so they're not, and then, so what we're going to do here is to save these for later. We are going to pre-make these balls and then we're going to put them on, I just have a baking sheet with some freezer paper on it and we're going to make a layer and then freeze them. And then after they're hardened, you can oh. take them you. off of the sheet and put them in like a Ziploc bag or a container, like an airtight container and store them in there because once they're frozen, they're not going to stick together. Yeah. Yeah. I buttered it. <laughs> you buttered the, the handle. Oh, it's okay. So yeah, we're just going to, well, while we're waiting for our other rolls to rise, we're just going to go ahead and prepare all of this for freezing. All the things you could do with your time. All the things that you can do with your time and hang out. This one looks like a little large, huh? I think that's what I did manually. Uh, oh, oh. She needs the consistency. I do. I'm like way too much of a perfectionist. How about I scoop them and then I'll, you can roll? Sure. Them. Perfect. Teamwork makes the dream uh -oh. work. Oh, we've already broken our little thing. Oh. Oh, it's probably the dough. The, the um, there's like a little screw on cap. Mm -hmm. It fell off somewhere. Oh. Do you see it? No. Well, is it in the somewhere. dough? Is it in the dough? Oh my gosh. It just looks like a little knob. <coughs> this is hilarious. I don't see it. It has to be somewhere. Well, we'll find it, hopefully. That I mean, stinks. it's still working. Oh, it's not like fully. Well, because it came out of like the its groove. I wonder if it fell out from before. Usually, Derek will here. fix it for me, but he's busy. Brazis, <sighs> get out of the kitchen. Seems like the dog has found some treats. He loves butter. Anytime I have butter out, he'll like lick the counter. <laughs> where the butter is on. Not even licking the butter, just like lick the side of the counter. Do you want to come say hello? Oh, don't eat the roll. He loves being on camera. The cuties. Not really. Can you guys see him? He's, he's, he's like, like right here. I don't know if they can see him with the way that the screen is. Well, if they were able to see other mystery, mystery heads under the table. That's true. Oh I kind of dig it. Hey! <laughs> Please. But it smells so good. I know, buddy. Life is just so hard, isn't it? So, uh oh. Hmm. So, Kay is not just an actor. One of her big things is that she works for this really cool rescue up in... Oh. Um, I'd rather not talk about that. Oh, never mind. We haven't talked about it in a long time and she's been talking about it. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen Kay in a while. And so we like... I feel like we have a lot to catch up on, but like not really. I feel like it's always the same. Um, hmm. Well, we talked about how I just went thinking. Mm-hmm. And then, like, what else? And she got a new dog. I did. I adopted a new dog. He's 10 months old. He's like a border collie shepherd mix. 
He's sweet as pie, but doesn't understand his body shape. I know, puppies are so funny. Like, he falls over all the time off the couch. Do we need another sheet? Yeah. I know, puppies are just like, run straight head on into things and like, so cute. somehow are just like, so resilient, they don't even feel it. Oh yeah. Should we do, we only have one wax side. So please don't stick together. So I'm just putting, we, we have our tray full of dough balls and I'm just gonna put another layer of paper on top so we can stack our balls and then freeze them. Which should I want to the freezer? Okay. Bloop. 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 Um, yeah, they're funny. My my other little one likes to play dentist, so every morning she'll wash. Yeah, she plays dentist. Mm -hmm. She's she is the dentist. What does that mean? It means she goes up to Mufasa and Abu in the morning and she cleans their teeth. She sticks her little tiny face in their mouth and cleans the teeth. And they let her do that? Yes. Wait, that's so weird. <laughs> it is super weird. But it's kind of cute and kind of gross. How did that happen? They just seriously let her do that. They just, I mean, she's very persistent. There's no choice. Do you think that's like what she's actually doing? Yeah, she's actually cleaning their teeth. Oh. I mean, maybe they left something. And yeah, she's just like looking for scraps. Yeah. That's so funny. I do. I read somewhere that like when dogs lick your face, it's because typically like because you're dirty. No, it's <laughs> well. I read because when like the mom dog comes home from like hunting all day, Aww. the puppies will lick her face and her neck to like encourage her to throw up. Oh, that's adorable. What like the food that she got so that they can eat it. Oh. Kind of like how mama birds will like throw up into the baby bird's mouth. I got yeah. Okay. I mean, and again, earlier today, Brassus was eating vomit off the street, so that's just it's like what a they natural. do. Oh. And I read that that's why they lick your face, because it's not because they're, like, giving you kisses because they're excited that you came home. They think that you, like, brought food home and are trying to get you to throw it up. That's very interesting. I mean, now I find it less endearing, but... <laughs> I know, right? Because the kiss is like, oh, you, you know kisses. Right? And then, no. Which always makes me wonder, like, when I kiss my dog, like, human kisses, not like Does him. he throw up after you? He doesn't. But I wonder, I always wonder if he understands, right. like, what, what that means. Or if he thinks that I'm, like, attacking him with my face. Like, does he know what the kisses are? I don't know. That's a good question. I think they learn, too, because, I mean, you're his mom and you've had him since he was a puppy, right? Um, well, Derek adopted him when he was a puppy, and I started dating Derek when Brazos was, like, six months old. Oh, yeah. I feel like he wants to go outside. So he probably that. learns, you know, learn that stuff from you. All right, we did it. Should I put these in the freezer? Yeah. Should we do the other dough? We could. I mean, because what else are we going to do with it? Eat it raw. Just kidding. All right, while we're at it, we're just gonna freeze all of our dough because we're not cooking it right now. We only have our one pan ready to cook, which is enough for now. Um, so that way we can save it for later. I always love when I can freeze dough. Now, a lot of things eat freeze really well, like cookie doughs and stuff like that. Um, and then you can just thaw it out and bake it and you have like a homemade cookie that you didn't have to slave over. You just had to make the dough once. And you have cookies forever. I'm also like super into that cake in a mug thing, but they never taste like great. So if you can just like actually freeze something and then just like bake it later, like grab one or two cookie dough balls and then bake them, it's so much better than making like a microwave cake in a mug. Everything is better than microwaving. Okay, <laughs> says everything is better than microwaving. Do you even have a microwave? No, I do not. So how do you heat leftovers? Oven. In the oven, but that takes forever, huh? No. No. I mean, it doesn't take like one second. 
That's true. But I also I just, just I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a shortcut person. Clearly. Yeah, you're clearly not a shortcut <laughs> person. I mean, making bread always takes time. Anytime yeah. you're using yeast, you always have to give it the time to let it rise. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not making these into balls at all. I'm just popping them on a sheet. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. That's you you're do that you're doing the job of the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. This dough is getting into my flour. I should oh, root this. Don't want to contaminate my whole flour box. I also keep my flour and sugar in these like giant containers because they're also easier to scoop out. Right. Too. When I'm baking, I just open the container and use my measuring cup, whatever, and scoop right out of it. It's so much easier. Okay, shaping the, these are so satisfying. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny because it's like, I do feel like we're playing with Play-Doh. A really, Play really sticky Play-Doh. We only have four viewers now. You guys left us. How dare you? Yeah, I know. It's okay. I feel like we're not being super interesting right now. Well, it's, it's kind of waiting. hard. It's kind of hard to be interesting all the time, guys. Yeah, you and know? live. Like, are you interesting? Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I was going to take that shot, but you know. I know. Nobody wanted to do it. Nobody wanted to fess up a dollar. Theodore Knight Falls was lying about his donation. <laughs> Can't believe really it. really tricked us. I know, right? That's I funny. totally believed him. I was, I didn't even know what a donation would look like on here. Uh, I so think you have the like font a donate is bigger. Book? You have a donation button on like the... I actually don't know what it looks like for the viewers because. Can you guys Well, I'm though? doing this. Um, but. My first live stream, Derek donated two dollars. Aww. Right? How sweet. Okay. I don't want to just pop it on top of another one. Do you want flour? No. You really are against the flour hand. Well, I just feel like we're just adding flour then. Yeah, but it's just for the outside. You're not adding too much flour. Well, if your hands are wet, you're just adding water. True. So, you know, is it one or the other? Ooh. Expert baker, tell Expert us what to baker. do. I think we're in the other sheet. We're full. We are full. Here. Grab this one. Here. What are you doing? Look at it. This is making a big mess. That looks like not a good tear. Um, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Um, no plans. No plans. Mm -hmm. Do you usually stay here? Yeah, I'm not a, um, I don't typically celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm one of those people. Oh, are you like Chandler from Friends? <laughs> what is Chandler? I don't, I didn't watch Friends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's on Netflix now. You have no excuse. Yeah, I'm not so dated. I don't I feel like even though you think that, it's still really relevant because they do such a good job telling the stories of what the characters are experiencing. But it's also like, as an actor, Friends was so pivotal in terms of like comedy. Pivot, pivot. Pivot, pivot. See, so you know that. I do know because there was a sweater at Target and I was confused. <laughs> but it's just like, it, 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 it's for, for if you want to be like a comedic actor or do anything with like, Sitcoms, like it's so so educational. I totally got reamed for that in acting class. They're like, yeah. you haven't watched Friends, and I was like, well, now I don't want to. You really, that it, was very and it's such a good show. Like it's a really good show, and it still holds up. I mean, Friends is one of those things that we'll just put on in the background because it's on Netflix. It's easy yeah. to like put on, and also because like when I'm, you know, it's like nice to have noise on. In see, the background for me. See, this This is what, where we differ. You like it to be quiet? No, I need noise, like for sure, this, at all times. This is not where we differ. I like no, noise. No, but where we differ is I put true crime in the background. Oh. You put something peppy and, and lovely, and I put on murder. See, I think that's interesting because I feel like true crime is like something that I would need to pay attention to. Like, I don't want to have it I feel on like in the background. Sometimes they have like, like unnecessary um, like comments. Sometimes, yeah, because I feel like, like just like shows like that, I just like would be like, well, now I don't know what's going on, and that would just annoy me. But with friends, like you don't really need to pay attention, pay attention, attention as much, yeah. you know. And because I've seen all the episodes before, I already know what's going right. on. So it's just nice to have on in the background to have like some noise. And you know what also is like pretty good in the background. A lot of times when I'm cooking, I'll put true crime on or drunk history is really good. In the background. 
You know, I've actually never seen Drunk <gasps> History. It's so good. And you learn a lot. Yeah. It's like interesting tidbits. And it's like they're drunk and talking about history. Mm -hmm. That's the premise. Yeah. There's and then they and then they like do uh, reenactments with actors. Oh. And stuff like that. That actually, based on their drunk way of telling the story. So it's actually pr drunk pretty, story. Yeah, it's really amazing. That started as a YouTube show, didn't it? I think so. I'm pretty sure. Which is awesome. I like how you put, you, you're you putting the balls in the spot that I like <laughs> lifted the ball from. Yeah. I mean, I'm running out of space. We're almost done making our, making our balls. The balls. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to freeze these and then we can store them. And I guess you could just take like a sheet. Yeah. Two sheets, four Whatever. sheets. You're the one having people over for Thanksgiving? Or for Christmas? Thanksgiving, and we're celebrating Christmas. Ah. Mm hmm. So we're celebrating our Christmas at Thanksgiving. But then for real Christmas, Derek's family is going to come. Mm -hmm. And we're going to celebrate. Oh, wow. Christmas so you're again. hosting, hosting. Yeah, we're double hosting. Wow. But it's less people when Derek's family are coming because it's just his parents and his sister. Mm. And, I, and for my family, it's. Also, my brother and his wife and my nephew, and so it's going to be eight people total. Just more people, okay. you know? I didn't want to make another sheet, but now I feel like I need to make another sheet. How many more? Because like, I feel like we're almost we're done. We're, like, pretty crowded. Because like, when you're freezing these dough balls, you don't want them to be touching yeah. because then they're going to stick together and be frozen. Um, so you're, we're trying to make them in layers where they're not sticking together, which... You know, I mean, I think they're gonna end up touching. Yeah, and if they're just touching a little bit, a lot of times you can break them apart. Once they're once they're defrosted, you can right because you're not gonna cook them from frozen. And the funny thing is, we're, I'm probably just gonna thaw out all of them and cook <laughs> all of them when anyway. I cook these anyway. Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> it all works. We're easy going over here. We're totally easy going. I feel like we don't need to like make this so serious. Some people are like so serious about their like cooking shows. You know, like eh. guys, it's fine. Don't make people hate cooking. So exactly, I feel like a like, lot of people already hate cooking. We are a little more relaxed. A lot of people already are like afraid of the kitchen or yeah. afraid of like messing things up or. And it's but like, do you see just, how many times we've already like? Had a little oopsie or... Yeah, you know? and it's not a big deal. I mean, more often than not, you're not going to have to throw away completely what you've done. Yeah. Um, just don't burn it. I guess that's the... Just don't burn it, yeah. yeah. That's the bigger fear is the burning of anything. And it's like, with anything else, there's no way to learn how to do something unless you try make a to mistake. do it. Yeah. Yeah, and make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have... Hopefully these freeze okay. We have three layers of our balls. Yeah, well. And, we'll freeze um, pretty quickly too. You it's know, I was just butter. thinking. I don't even know if we can fit this in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's like, it's like a. We can fit it. We're gonna freezer. fit it. We're gonna we're gonna try to see what we can do, guys. I feel like this is what they want to watch. BRB. <laughs> I know you guys are just gonna watch my gray my gray wall.
the dough has not risen as much as we want it to. Uh, stop licking things. The dog is back and trying to lick things on the table. He's also like, come on guys, bake it already. <laughs> I know, right? I know. So, we're just gonna hang out a little bit longer. There's only three people watching, so. <laughs> we can sit down, you wanna sit? <laughs> sure. Do you have something to drink or eat? You want a snack? Um, I'm good. Do you? No. Okay. Yeah, maybe some water. Oh. Sure. I'll have a water. Let me move. Water sounds I'm fantastic. I'm read you the, the thing here. Um. We also only have 20 minutes left on our my camera battery. Dun dun dun. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Connect or make connect? Well, I'm gonna have to, yeah, put in a new battery. Are you able to get onto the same stream? I think so, yeah. I don't know, I've never done it in midstream before. No, 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 I think so. Sorry, guys. It's not a warm enough environment. That is the, see, this is the thing about baking. Yeah, especially bread. Yeah, bread. Bread is a thing that I've like, tried so hard for years to like never give up on and like well which is what's crazy because like so say like my pizza dough recipe that I've made because I'm from the east coast like since I was younger bringing it over to California it didn't do the same thing because like the air is drier just things just change so like the recipe to that I had to like recreate as well it's interesting Bread is fascinating. I feel like if they don't rise anymore, we can just bake them yeah. as is. Yeah, we could do it. Try it out. See what yeah. happens. We're just gonna mm. wait a little longer. Sorry, I guess I could have moved. No, you're fine. And see what happens. And also, I don't know what happened to that little metal blib. That maybe it's in the drawer from where yeah. you got it from. Like maybe it was off. If I don't find it, then it's like I need to get a new one. one. Um, guys, donate for a new nice. Scoopy Scoop. Yeah, donate for a new Scoopy Scoop. These actually, I really do love these. I feel like I use them. They worked out really well. I was knocking them, but they actually I know, made this so much faster. And it's like they're the perfect size. I mean, yes, they come in all different sizes, but the ones that I have are the perfect size for cupcakes and mini cupcakes because pouring batter into cupcakes always goes awry. Mm -hmm. You make a big mess. Some mm -hmm. cupcakes are huge and some cupcakes are small. It's the one of the most difficult things in my opinion. But yeah. a scoop like this, it makes it super easy. Yeah, true story. And they're all the same size and they're perfect little cupcakes. And this cupcake scoop, I also use them for giant cookies. They turn out great. Mm. The other scoop makes like little, little guys. Little baby cookies. Yeah. So you don't have to think anything for Thanksgiving. What about Christmas? I think we're um, going up to Oregon. Mm, what's in Oregon? Um, Creator National Park. Oh, okay. And then I think um, I got a book that's like um, snowshoeing trails. Oh, So I think we're wow. going to snowshoe different like hikes and to waterfalls that are open. That sounds that. cool. Yeah. Wow. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Wait, do you guys do like presents or anything? Not really. You don't really celebrate the holiday. I mean, I, I don't have kids, so it's not it's not like it's a different kind of excitement. It's not even for kids, like even just for like. I mean, yeah, video. like I might give something, or something I get like gifts that. for myself. I wrap them up. <laughs> I actually just got this little necklace. I can show you guys. It's a little cloud. Oh, how cute! And I was gonna wrap it up for Christmas, but Derek said that it was stupid and I should just open it. <laughs> but so I did. Yourself? So I gifted myself my very very early Christmas present. But I did get a matching bracelet. That has so a little cloud and a little umbrella, um, but I wrapped that and that's under the tree. Aww. Right? Because I've done, I've been doing Life Above the Clouds for over a year. Wow. Isn't that crazy how the time goes by? Holy cow. So that's yeah, crazy. once a week for a year, a year and a month now probably. Yeah. Huh. What'd you, did you do like an anniversary video? Um, I did. For my one year anniversary, I did just like a tricks and tips kind of video, which is just... Nice been like all of the things that I've learned in a year of cooking with cannabis because I'm not a chef or mm -hmm. like a trained professional I'm just a home cook that likes to bake and cook and share it with people like you yeah. or you guys 
Um, and so I have learned a lot over just doing it, working with it. That's awesome. Well, because everyone who's cooking isn't a professional or, right. you know. And, and, like, as much as I love watching, like, a video of a professional cook making stuff, I always try to be really mindful about making simple things that, like, anybody can make. Because, and they're realistic. Yeah, yeah realistic. Because, like, I'm not going to watch, like, some, like, master class has, uh -huh. has chefs doing master classes. And they're, like, I don't know, like, roasting a... See, that's sounds like way up my alley. I know, Because right? <laughs> that's so traumatic. But I'm not going to, like, follow along and, like, watch how they're making this roast and blah, blah, blah. Like, like let's lot. be real, guys. Like, but I can, like, I want to watch somebody make, like, chocolate chip cookies. And mm -hmm. I can make those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's the perfect thing because it's an approachable, it's an approachable way to add cannabis to baking yeah because especially if you're not a baker right and it's also you know? because like cannabis is legal recreational cannabis is legal in california which is where we are we're in los angeles and so i do know that a lot of the people that are watching do live in a place where it's not legal mm -hmm. and um yeah, thanks, and thanks for still watching <laughs> and this is the way you can approach it i mean it's fun. um is the camera still recording? yeah all right make sure that it doesn't shut off i know i'm gonna have to change the battery what We'll see what happens when We'll see what happens. I do, the, the camera battery says it has like 15 minutes left, so I'm going to have to change the battery and we might get disconnected. I don't know what happens. I'm so new to the live stream thing. This is my third live stream. I actually started doing it because it's more fun. This has been way more fun. Yeah. It's than loose. like my regular videos. It's real. It's loose. I get to hang out with my friends and yes. we get to like make food together and we get to share it because after we cook it, we're going to eat it together mm -hmm. too. And, um, and I get to hang out. Like, I think it's really cool that people are watching live and commenting and I get yeah. to talk back to you guys. Um, and it's just more fun than, like, Who else is still that here? Say it. hi that you're here. I know. Say three no. people are still here. Ask this question. I think one of them is Derek. He always tunes in just to be supportive. Yeah. How nice. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, the, I think that the live streams have been really fun, and I don't know if you guys are liking them. I guess three people are liking it. <laughs> and if you do, I mean, if you do like it, like, what do you want to see more of? Yeah. Or, you know, maybe don't bring K on with a complicated recipe. <laughs> no, maybe don't bring K on with a complicated recipe. This I, actually, like, isn't a super complicated no, recipe. No, it's not. It's just bread takes time. Um, bread takes yeah, time to rise. It's, it's yeah. letting it rise, and then we thought we were going to, like, get ahead of it by making a, dough, a batch of dough ahead we of time. We were too fast. But... Yeah, maybe it just wasn't. But even if it doesn't it. rise long enough, we're just we're gonna, gonna bake, bake it, it anyway. Um, because that's what you should do, right? Yeah, yeah even like, if it's not perfect. Yeah, people get so into like, yeah. I don't want to make these rolls because I can't do it. But it's like, but then it's still gonna taste good. Like yeah. the diff the difference would be like the perfect rise versus like something that just didn't rise as well, and it's still gonna yeah. be yummy. And what she means by that, it's like it's not gonna be as fluffy because. The member, the yeast is farting. Yeah, the yeast, the yeast is not gassy fill, enough right it's now. It's filling the dough up with air, and that's what makes the fluffy. bread like fluffy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But ours just won't be as fluffy. But you know what's but gonna make it good is all of this, this butter. Butter. <laughs> butter and the maple syrup. Yeah, and Kay also got sausage, so we're gonna make little sandwiches. Yes, and I guess they're gonna be hot like sauce really, too. really tiny. Do you like spicy things? No. Okay, well, I will do the hot Theodore sauce. Theodore Nightfall says hi, and Derek hi. Jones says hi. So hi. <laughs> the, the third person is a mystery. Ooh, who's this third know, person? Maybe us. it was that Mike Finney, who was asking, because he had Mike the last Finney? question. Yeah. Mike Finney, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Attention, Mike Finney. <laughs> it could be um, the guy in Inland Empire. Mm. We should do a trip to Inland Empire. What else is out there? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, how about you tell us? Right? If you are in this live stream, you can tell us. I really like Mount Baldy. It's a cute little, like, like woodsy town up in the mountains. There's, like, a really awesome um, pub mm -hmm. that has, like, pretty good chili. Mm -hmm. You travel a lot. I do. Yeah. I'm a very outdoorsy person. You so are not just very like travel tra That's also I'm not a city traveler. Differ. Yeah, I'm not a city traveler because I grew up in the city. So, like, mm -hmm. I don't. He's from New York. Yeah. So I look 
I seek to see more like woodsy, yeah, like mountainous type areas. Right. Yeah. And, and I also live in a city, so it's like it's an escape in my mind. That's true. Los Angeles is. Sometimes I forget because there's so many different things that you can do in Los mm. Angeles, which is really cool. Like you're, you even kind of though, have everything, yeah. like right now I live in Hollywood. If you guys, you don't need my address, but yes, I live in she Hollywood in, with the in Los it's Angeles. Really pretty. But it's very close to the city. Like it's Hollywood, mm -hmm. but it also feels like you're a step out. Of I, it. I'm yeah because I am like kind of in the hills where. There's nature out, and there's like coyotes that roam the streets, and I'll see deer outside. Like it's crazy. Wait, you've seen deer outside? Yeah, like on the mountain, oh, like across the way, I'll, that's you'll so see like cute. a deer. Apparently, so there's this famous mountain lion that mm. also, you can like track. He has a tracker. You can look him up online to see where he is. <laughs> but apparently, he'll like come around these parts. Oh. Yeah. Maybe leave him a treat. No. <laughs> I would freak out. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you do if you see a mountain lion? Like, Stare. what's the safety for that? I mean, it's not going to attack you unless you... I don't know. know. I don't think so. It wouldn't Maybe happen. it's hungry. I am thankful, though, that, that our dog is a big dog. He's like 95 pounds. So I'm not concerned we'll about... You. Well, I'm not concerned about coyotes. If yeah, you have a like smaller a dog. dog or a cat... They go hunting. Yeah, I'm also I. Um, I'm also the not a fan Theodore of the night raccoon. Theodore Nightfall says I want to go to LA too. That I'm far away from there. Where Wait, are Theodore you? Theodore Night Falls. Where are you? I'm gonna check the battery. Okay. I might switch it around and see what happens. Um, I'm not cool with raccoons because raccoons came into our yard and attacked two of my dogs. Really? And then I looked it up, and apparently, apparently raccoons like attack for sport. Oh my god! And what the? Are so scary. They're so scared. At first, I was like, oh, they're so cute. They no. have little hands. No, they're not cute. Okay. They tried to kill Guys, me. Guys, oh, I'm battery? gonna change the battery. <laughs> so wish us luck. I bet this is a really flattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know. I don't know what's gonna happen. You're probably just gonna pause for a second. East didn't get. So are we back on? Huh? Are we still live? The stream is a little delayed, so we're black, but I have the camera back on. Let me see. I don't I can see. Oh, Theodore Night Falls is in the Philippines. Whoa! That's amazing! Oh, we're back! I think we're back. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that people from the Philippines last what? in the last two weeks there was a guy. So bad By the way, Theodore Nightfall, you're my new favorite person. I would love to visit the Philippines. Cool. That is pretty cool. Where's one of the coolest places that you've been? Hmm. That's a good question. Hmm. It's loaded. It's a loaded so, question. But I feel like I've been to so it's many been a places. Lot of places. I mean, recently Havasupai was insane. Yeah. Because you're in the bottom of the Grand, so you hike to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, basically, and then eight miles deep to the village of Supai, where there's this um, Native American community that lives there. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you know, I don't have pictures of their town because you respect their village and you don't take pictures of the people right. or their mules or the kids. But it's a whole community. There's like a school wow. like there's they're, they're building a preschool there's an elementary school and there's a high school like it's a whole thing mm -hmm. um it's really cute and then um so you're in the bottom of the grand canyon and from like the lime deposits the rivers and the waterfalls are like turquoise milky blue wow yeah that's so cool and it was amazing so like it would be like 80 degrees during the day and then like 30 40 degrees at night <laughs> But if you're prepared, you're prepared, and you're warm, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, hence, I made chili. Hence kept me warm. Hence, made chili. Um, but it was just so amazing and worth it because 
not many people are going to go do that and see it ever. And so it's like a different kind of like, I worked for this. I came here and like, I'm going to experience it and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Um, So we went swimming and like a lot of the trails to go to like a lot of... What temperature is the water? I mean, it's, it's fair. It's, it's comfortable. I don't know. Like I didn't bring a thermometer. But it's not like, I would think that it's not ice. No, no. It's not like ice cold. It's like... It's hot during the day, so it's refreshing. Okay. But if you, like, we, we got caught where, like, the sun went down over the canyon um, while we were at one of the one of the falls, like, beaver falls, um, which are these, like, scalloped, like, beaver tail, like, falls. And they're, like, the water is, like, milky blue. And you could swim in each of the pools and, like, climb the falls and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we were stuck there, pat, like, just as the sun was going to the other side of the canyon. So that's really just, like, four. Like, sunset's at six, but once it reaches right. the other side of the canyon, it gets cold. Yeah. And so we're like, oh, crap, like, we should w- walk back the next three miles to our campsite. Right. And it got cold. Yeah. Because the, the way to get there is you do multiple river crossings. So oh. we were still hopping in and out of the water. That's, yeah. yeah. So that, you know, but I mean, it was still worth it. Yeah, and it's so cold when the the air is cold uh-huh. and you're wet. Yeah. Like, that yeah. just makes it extra, extra yeah. wet. <laughs> so, yeah. but, the other night, um, said that we're still on. Good job. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate the support. <laughs> I know, eventually, hopefully, we're going to fix the live stream where it's not going to be, like, squishy. Wait, Theodore and I is the one who punked us with the dollar. I don't blame oh, him. Any- I don't blame him anymore because yeah. I feel like the peso is to- like <laughs> not even. <laughs> Do they have lot. pesos? In the I think it's pesos. Yeah, is it? I think so. I don't know. I might have made that up. Should we just put our rolls in the? Oven? Let's do it. So I'm gonna show you the roll. The balls don't they really stayed, look that different. They stayed in the same position as they did when we first. When right, we but them. I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, so guys, this is um, our rolls. They didn't really rise that much, which is unfortunate. And then this is what happens with a live stream that if things go wrong, you know, we're we're live, so we're just gonna roll with it. Um, <laughs> So we are just going to bake these and what's going to happen is that because they didn't rise, we're not going to have as fluffy of rolls as we normally would, but you know, we're still going to eat them and I'm sure they're going to be delicious. Yeah. So these are going in the oven. Cool. Should I get the um, patty started? Oh yeah. While we are cooking our rolls, we are going to cook the sausage patties that Kay got. We've already made our maple rosemary butter, which is delicious. And so we are going to make little sandwiches with our rolls. And so I'm going to clean up a little bit and we're going to make our sausage. pork breakfast sausage. Okay. Was yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> One second.
Uh, we do have to watch the clock, though, because if we're going to make it to Ben and Jerry's, we need wait, to wait, get our food. Wait, does Ben and Jerry's stop at a certain point? Yeah, they start, stop at 8. Oh. <laughs> we have time. Oh, we have time. We should go to the mall also because I've been wanting to go to Forever 21. That's so random. No, because they're closing. Oh. You didn't hear, hear this? I don't shop there. Um, I mean, I haven't shopped there in a very, very long time. I didn't get the memo. No one tells me things. But um, you don't like read the news? But no. Okay, well, so well, guys, Forever 21. Lauren is, is, is the source of all of my thrifty shopping deals. Like I love a good deal, and I also love their shopping because I... I try not to buy anything new. Yeah. Because, especially because of stores like Forever 21 or H&M, like... The affordable the, stores are... The, yeah, the amount of waste that they create, um, mm -hmm. not just in producing their garments, but because of the quality, you don't wear them or keep them very long, and because they're so trendy. Anyway, I'm not... This is, I'm not, like, bad-mouthing these stores. We're gonna go later. <laughs> or I'm not trying to bad-mouth these stores, but that's why I try to buy secondhand to, like give these things new life that would normally go to landfill. Yeah. Anyway, Forever 21 filed for bankruptcy and they were closing a bunch of their stores. So I read that they're having huge sales in their stores. Oh. So I've been wanting to just like go and check it out. Yeah. And then you could thrift them when you're done. Yeah, right? Just like and donate we, to we distribute well. to the... Okay. Okay, so we, we are going to... We have time time. We do have a little time to for our sausage. Because we're gonna cook our rolls for 25 minutes, or what? What's our the visionary, the visual clues that you would look? Oh, I feel like we should sit because I reframed the camera. Oh, sorry, time. sorry. Did you guys didn't like the, the half? Oh of yes, it's face. pesos. You were right. Um, yeah. So like a lot of times, there's like when you're cooking a cake or brownies, or you would stick a toothpick or a tester mm. into the center, and when it comes out clean, then you know that the dough is cooked. Right. But when so, you're cooking bread... So typically for these rolls, um, you'll look for that it's rise double. Oh, oh memory card is full. Oh, that's why. Interesting. Does it does it matter since we're streaming on two? No, but because I'm recording, if you don't record, then the camera automatically turns off. Oh. And also because I. Um, do you have another memory card? I do. I use this footage. I cut it down later, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which apparently you can do with the live stream, but the quality is obviously. Yeah, better. this one the quality is going to be much better. Okay, guys, well, you guys are learning about live streaming with us as well. <laughs> Look at all of the lessons learned today. Let me see what's on this. We also now know that um, in the Philippines they use pesos. You already knew that. I, I thought that. I made it up, but you know, apparently my brain is filled with some form of knowledge. <laughs> Um, What's the most exotic place that you've been? Exotic. Hmm. I don't know. I'm like blanking right now. I'm just like most exotic been. place that I've been. Right. I. I'm just Mexico. Gonna do these things. <laughs> Mexico. Probably. Mexico is cool. Yeah. I like Mexico. I spent a lot of time in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna do um, what's on this. I feel like I just kind of chase different like mountain towns. Yeah. Specifically. Um, hmm. Where that? There are alpine lakes that are just like three three hours north from here in, um, in the Eastern Sierra region. And you could backpack back there to all of these like crystal blue lakes and stuff. Very pretty. Sorry, 
sorry, cool. guys. I'm trying to. It's working. What's happening? Yeah, no? I mean, it's going to turn off in oh. a second. So I'm just getting another memory card to put into the camera because the one that we're using is full. Um, but I'm just trying to see what's on this camera so I can delete everything on there and use this card. That's what's happening, just so you guys know. Um, which is funny because last week we streamed for like two hours and the card didn't get full. And I reformatted the card hmm. before we started. Oh, oh, yeah, we've only, we've almost, we're almost to two. Ten two. Yeah, so I wonder why this time it didn't go as long. And you deleted everything? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay, so we're going to go off again for a sec. Good. New card is in. It's smelling good. Oh, good. Got a little moisture. Took out some of the moisture. But you know what? Even if this doesn't come out crispy and it's like crunchy, it's going to be bomb. Oh, yeah. You know? Two ways to do it. I feel like bread is good, so good. Like bread is just yeah, good. bread. I you know. Better. Yeah. Um, should I grab like I'm a gonna... tongue or a flipper? Yes, uh, it'll be in this drawer over here. Sorry, that's okay. I'm gonna reframe the camera when you come back okay. because because we are not sitting down anymore. We're standing. Standing. Why are we so blur? Why is this so blurry? Is it because we're zoomed? Oh, I think because it's like not knowing what to focus on right now. Oh, so it's like so being crazy. I'm so sorry, guys. You know, this whole live stream thing is just crazy. On a plus, I kind of want to show them these butter Okay. Ooh, so we're going to pull out our butter stars. I'm so excited about them. They're so oh, I, that's really blurry. Yeah, like focus. The, the focus. There, there we go. go. Do it. So our Ooh. butter, our butter has hardened. <gasps> they're so cute. Can we pop one out? Yes. Ooh. No, it's not hardened enough. Oh, it's not. Mm -mm. Oh, they look. Can we put it in the freezer? It's a lie. We've just been lying to you this whole time. We don't know what's going on. It tastes good. That's what matters. As long as it tastes good, who cares what it looks like? But it is true that you eat with your eyes, which. You know, things that look appealing taste better. It's just a fact. <laughs> like butter. Uh-oh. Uh What's up? <coughs> Fortnite Falls said stream is gone. Are we back or is this just delayed? Because I see us on here. Yeah, I see it. Oh, maybe maybe he's delayed from... Yeah, maybe, because we did. Out. Yeah, we did have a little trouble. So we have... Let's see how much time is on here. Okay, so we are going to cook our patties. 14 minutes. These are just pre-made breakfast sausage patties that Kay picked up from the grocery store. She, she, she said no to me when I said, oh, in the meantime, since we'll have like an hour for rising, I was like, we can make, we can make sausage patties. And she was like, no, buy them. <laughs> I'm We're just extra. We're trying to keep it simple. We can buy sausage patties. It's okay. No, but it's totally good. And so can you. Yeah, because right? Because they're obviously equally as delicious. They're just not as dramatic as I am. <laughs> oh, just a delay. Good. We're still going, Theodore Nightfall. Sweet. Are, is, are our vocals, like, in sync as well? I hope so. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I love that people are still watching, though. You guys oh, rock. Um, we could put some butter in the pan. Okay, I'm going to get a little taller here. Okay, loves butter. Uh, so yeah, we're getting some butter to put in our pan and we're just going to cook up these patties a little bit. She's only using her finger just so she can eat it. I just don't see the point of using like another tool. No, I would just fingers. like, I would just do it like on the pan like this, you know, oh. like a normal person where you like scrape it on the pan. You know, but see normal, so boring. I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. I mean, what I is normal? Works. We what ready? Is How do you do it? Do you do the scrapey or do you use your finger? Can I put it on? Sure. I didn't know if we were ready or not. Oh, we're always ready. Okay. All right, we got two patties cooking and we got our 
Oh my gosh, Gara Hidayat is back. So Gara has been watching for the past two weeks and he's back on. Good morning from Indonesia. Good morning. It's actually like 6 a.m. for him. That's amazing. So I think that is awesome. Is this, gonna, is this your morning routine? Or are you getting ready Last while week he cooked us? with us. That's so cool. You should, you should have taken a picture and sent it to me so I could see how it Was it out. good? We made soup last week. You saw. Oh video. yeah, the chupe. Um, the, yeah, and it was so funny because we... I mean, I was cooking with this little hot plate, and we were making, like, this big pot of soup, and so obviously this hot plate is, like... It took a while. Uh, yeah, it took a while just to, like, bring our soup to a boil, mm. even, like, all of that stuff, and Gara was like, I'm already done. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I know. We're like, I don't know. We're still waiting. It's, it's, it's like forever. the life above the clouds live. I know, race. right? I mean, that's just so funny about going live. It'd be pretty cool if he was, like, making the rolls. He's like, mine have risen. <laughs> I know, right? Gara. And we did start late last week, so mm. he's finally tuning in. I see. So good morning. We have the Philippines. We have Indonesia. Oh, we've got is, places from all over. This is really we've got cool. Inland Empire. <laughs> Just our reach is amazing. Oh, well, talk about six degrees, you know. <laughs> I do think that it's really cool that people, that like, the, the internet, just because of the internet, like, you guys from across the world can watch this. That blows my mind. And that you want to. <laughs> that blows my mind. You're pretty cool. I watch you. Thank you. You're so sweet. That's because you're I'm watching you live. You are watching me live. We are. Yeah. This is live. This is. I mean, you guys are like kind of live. It's really like 20 seconds later. <laughs> so like, what's gonna happen? Da -da -da. Do you make your own sausage a lot? Um, every now and then. Okay. I'll, well, I make a lot of things where I'll make big batches of them and then freeze them. Okay. So I'll do, do that you, with like tomato sauce. I'll do that with mm -hmm. stock. I save all of my bones mm -hmm. and scraps because I'm like, eat everything. Mm -hmm. Don't waste. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll freeze that. I do the same thing with shrimp, like shrimp shells, yeah. clam shells, all that stuff, seafood stock. I was going to ask you like if you ever buy things that are pre-made. No. You always make everything from scratch. Just about. Yeah. Unless it's like. Who has last time minute. for that? How do you have time to do all these things? I don't know. Okay. I guess I do. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, otherwise, I go out to eat. Okay. And then most of my food prep happens on the weekend. So if I'm, like, prepping stuff for the week, like, I'll just pull them out of the freezer, mm -hmm. put them in a pot, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of like going to see my therapist every Sunday. Okay. All day. <laughs> all all day. day. It does take a lot of time to do these well, things. Well, it depends on, it depends on, like, what you're making, too. But True. Like, yeah. It takes a bit of time. I mean, it's like obviously you've been streaming for two hours making these rolls, so it does take time in the kitchen yeah. to make certain things. But I, I kind of enjoy like not being so like quick with everything. Like everything in life is so fast; you get things so quickly. You can order food. You yeah. Can, you know what I mean? Like everything's so immediate that like sometimes once a week it's nice to just like take your time to do something. Yeah. And I actually do love cooking. It is therapeutic. There's yeah. something about it that is nice. And but I don't do, like, big, like, two-hour meals, like, every night. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, like, say say I made these rolls on Sunday. I'll toast them, reheat them, and then, like, I'll already have stuff to put inside of it. Mm -hmm. Like, ready to go. So that's, like, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. It's a lot of planning, too, to be able to, like, mm -hmm. plan ahead on what ingredients you need and what mm -hmm. you're going to have extra or whatever. Yeah. And sometimes I'll just, like, be in the mood, have a craving. Or, like, I'll have a craving, like, oh, this, I can't think of it, but, like, um, like I'm really craving, let's say it's pizza or something. Yeah. Um, as someone who's from New York City, I'm a pizza snob. I'm very particular about it. Like, I'm not just going to go to Domino's. It's not my thing, mm -hmm. right? Because I want that slice that I can't get unless I want to get on a plane. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to do my version as close as I can to satisfy that craving, and I'll take the time to do it. Right. You know, I want to show you this book. Oh. Ooh. But it's because I'm extra. You are so extra. I'm so extra. I mean, that's good. I think that it's good to take the time to, like, make the food that you're going to eat. Yeah. Because people don't realize, like, you are when you eat, like, that whole thing. It's so true. And, like, when you're only eating fast food or eating these things that are not... And you know everything that's in it. Right. Yeah. 
So this is a book called Pizza on the Grill that I actually right up got my alley. from our down the street neighbor. Oh, not neighbor. Cool. Um, but uh, his name is Bob Bloomer. You can look. You can Google him, but he like. What, what, what will we find when we Google him? Um, he has like Excuse cookbooks. Me, he has multiple cookbooks, and he like hosts a Food Network show or a couple Food Network cool. shows. Cool. But um, I actually made friends with his wife because our dogs are in love with each other. Aww, so we I will like doggy pals. walk together, or every time I walk Brazos, he only wants to go to their house, and we just like that walk to their house, thing. and he'll stare at the door, Aww. and sometimes she'll like peek My out heart. the window and like bark at us. Like it's really, Aww. really sweet and adorable. That's so cute. But anyway, this is one of his books, and um, I actually haven't tried really any of them, but I did make the pizza dough recipe. Right. And even though the big thing is to do it on the grill, which we have a grill, but sometimes it's a pain in the butt to like heat up your grill and bring it out and all that stuff. So there is instructions to do it. I in do the not oven. think it's a pain in the butt. I enjoy it. I enjoy fire. If she just if, if she's extra. I mean, I'm extra. And if like I didn't grow up in like the Catholic school system, I'd probably be an arson. <laughs> So, I feel like it, because you grew up in the Catholic school system, you should be. <laughs> um, no, I have too much guilt. I have so much Catholic guilt. Are you kidding? <laughs> but yeah, I did use, there's oven-only method instructions that I made, but the dough turned out fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. so crispy. Oh, I want to try it. And it's not, it's not New York style. I know. I, know. It's more I don't like, expect that. It's more like European. Oh, I have an alarm. Oh. Uh, is it time to wake up? It's 4 p.m. I don't know what that is. Theodore Knight Falls. Oh, fried food. Now we're talking. Oh, Derek says move framing on OBS down. That's the top of the screen, Derek. There is nothing else. You told me to zoom out, and I zoomed out. Maybe we need to move the camera up. Yeah, we can do that. Because, yeah, we do see you our don't little piece of, of our head. head. And we are, you can see it down there. Yes, if you're curious. Lean over, we if you're curious. <laughs> I'm going to so raise funny. the camera up a little then. I turned it off because I, to just keep it warm for when the The, the residual heat is very... It's strong. Yeah. It's strong it's, with it's this one. It takes a long time for this little hot plate to heat up, but once it's hot, it'll stay hot. So wait, which one did you make? Um, We just made like prosciutto. Cool. And honey, which is one of our nice. favorite combinations. So and then we did sun-dried tomatoes and artichokes. I didn't really, there's like a whole bunch of different combinations of toppings that you can do, but I was just following. But you can do your own. I mean, that's I the best thing about dough. pizza. I just like, cool. So like, see, he like does it on the grill and uh -huh. it, makes, it turns out to be really crispy. Yeah. I obviously did it in the oven, which is uh -huh. a little bit different, but uh -huh. if you wanted to try. Yeah. I've made pizza yeah. on the grill. I use cast iron. Mm. That's how I've done it in the past, but I'll try it right. straight on. His that's whole thing, like straight on, it makes it crispier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like make the dough and then you cook it straight on and mm -hmm. it's like very, very Serious about don't open the grill. No peeking. Well, you can't let the heat exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. And so then once you cook it, you take it out of the grill and flip it over, then put the toppings on the what used to be the bottom, mm -hmm. and then put it back in the oven. Oh, interesting. So there's a double step. So mm -hmm. it's like a pre... You're so that way it's you're, crispy you're par, on both sides. You're par baking the pizza. That's an interesting right, Because one of the things, like when you bake it on a sheet, like it's not crispy on the bottom sometimes. Mm -hmm. And because you flip it over, mm -hmm. it... Makes well, the easy. trick to that is if you're using a sheet, is make sure your sheet is hot before mm. you put the dough on it so that it, like, cooks it right away. Yeah. I feel like something about, like, the open air on the bottom makes it you yeah. try. Okay, so our sausage I is done. I can't wait and, over here. How much time is that? And Kay is going to go check on our bread rolls. And, yeah, if, um... Oh, they, they rose a bit. They rose a bit in the oven. So one of the things we were having issues with is that we didn't want to wait any longer. Our dough wasn't rising like we wanted it to, but we just decided to go ahead and cook it anyway because we're impatient. I'm hungry. I know, right? Um, so we are cooking our rolls and we're going to make little sandwiches. We made some butter with some rosemary maple syrup and we just have some breakfast sausage patties that we cooked up. Mm -hmm. And how much longer for our bread rolls? Four minutes. Four minutes, So you guys. not much longer. And, um... Then we're just going to enjoy it. Put it together. Yeah. And enjoy it. And um, I wish you guys could try it. <laughs> I know. That, I mean, that, that's like the new technology it. is that, like, you got to get sent through yes. the television or your computer, like, one day. 
That would be insane. You know, wouldn't you love to smell like what's happening so right crazy. now? This smells so good. But I feel like that just like takes away from like real life experience. Like the experience of like going to a restaurant and like right. eating something live versus being like, oh, I can just watch it on TV. Mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of people who don't cook at all watch a lot of those like food channels. That's true. So I hate I, don't know. I hate watching those food channels late at night because then you get so <sighs> hungry and you want to eat something. That's so funny. But you're too lazy and tired to actually cook something because it's like 10:30, you know, and <laughs> like My anything you eat is not gonna be as good. Oh, Gura asks about, can you please tell me about the ingredients again? Oh. So, yes, we can. We can re-summarize everything. So, we made pumpkin dinner rolls and what, well, it's Kay's recipe, so she can explain. Oh, so <laughs> it's uh, five and a half cups of flour, one cup of milk, one cup of well, we water. Well, we can do it in order. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll, I'll do right? it in order. Do it in order. Okay. So, we I'm took sorry, five, and five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half cups of flour, and we mix that with three quarters cups of sugar, one packet of active dry yeast, which is about seven ounces, and um, seven grams rather, seven grams, and two tablespoons of salt. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So we just combined those dry ingredients, and then we mixed in one cup of water and one cup of milk. Mm -hmm. um, and what else? One cup of water, one cup of milk, and then um, oh, half cup of pumpkin. Half a cup of pumpkin and six tablespoons of butter that we incorporated a little piece at a time. Um, we did three tablespoons of cannabis butter and three tablespoons of regular butter because I like to do one tablespoon per 12 servings and this batch makes about 36 rolls. It obviously depends how big you, you shape them roll, yeah. later. Um, but so you can, as long as there's six tablespoons total, you can play with the ratio. And then we let that rise for about an hour until it doubled in size and then we formed our Golf, si golf sized, golf ball sized balls of dough. And then we put those in a nine by 13 pan that was already buttered and dusted with flour. And we let those rise and then they didn't rise as much as we wanted them to, but we just said we're gonna bake them anyway. And we baked them at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Yep. And it's it just about done. Almost there, yeah. And uh, Oh, and then we made um, uh, maple, uh, rosemary, maple syrup butter mm -hmm. which is in the freezer right now and then we're gonna butter well we tell, tell them how we made it well so <laughs> so i took about a cup of maple syrup you could use honey if you prefer um and i took about five sprigs of rosemary i let the i let the maple syrup come to a, a simmer put the rosemary in it to steep and release all those like oils from the rosemary I mean, you could use sage, you could use, mm. you know what I mean? Like sage, thyme, like get creative with that. Um, and then I let that cool a little bit and then I'll use that, I incorporated that with about a stick of butter until it was like fully incorporated. Put them in ice cube molds, yeah, we candy just molds. Used, yeah, candy molds that I used in my oven can of butter video. Uh, maybe I'll link that in the description. Oh, yes. <gasps> Woo! Our rolls are done. I don't I don't know where my pot holders are, so I just <laughs> use the towel. Okay. I just fold it up. Uh, how exciting! We're gonna make oh, our so little excited. We're gonna make our little sandwiches. I'm just gonna yeah, put them on the make room Actually, over can here. You melt butter real quick. Melt butter? Well, I'll just do it. Okay. I totally forgot because they usually brush on melted butter. Oh but I think honestly in the end, end or are, in the like right now. bread. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? I wonder why. Do, do, do. Oops. I'm going to go 
ahead and brush some butter on top. Yummy glisten. The butter is just like melting right as I brush it. Mm. So typically they would have rise like double than this, but they smell good, they so smell I'm so game. Good. I am a okay with that. And like we said before, like how people get so afraid of baking or cooking because because they have this expectation of perfection and it's right. just and not you know what nice. we messed up and it's fine we, it's still edible i'm still gonna eat it yeah we're still gonna eat it and it's still gonna taste great i'm gonna cut these into and i brought another Perfect. little quarter size mm, oh my god these are smells so good me They're too. still very, very hot. <laughs> I'm just gonna touch it with my hand. You're like, okay, just I feel it. like my tips and my fingers are already callous. So how much I touch like hot, hot things. things, I just go for Should it. Should we just just sandwich two rolls together? If you want, I'm gonna cut them in half. You know, right, we'll let's try it both two. ways. And either way, so these um, haven't fully solidified yet. We could just Girl, scoop it. I've got it. I don't think I can follow along this time. You're right. right. I know because we're almost done. But you could still make it another time and yeah. then let us know how it went. I know. If you guys ever make these things, Woo! I would love to see pictures. Okay, I'm gonna I gotta show the video. Hot show them the video. Go for it. Ah. But don't kill burn yourself over here. I mean that wouldn't be new. Look, Look at, at that. your little rolls. I'm just gonna go ahead and just get some of this butter. Ooh, that butter. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I know. It smells so good. Ah. And then we're gonna eat ice cream after this. Look at that. It's a it's a full course meal. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pop a little sausage. And then you could put more butter if you want. I'm gonna put hot sauce on mine. Cause I like my I like sweet and salty spicy situation. I do not want hot sauce. I hate spicy food. <laughs> Does Derek want one? Um, I don't know. Does he like spicy? Yeah. Boom. So let's try ours. Okay. It's still very, very hot. It's so hot. I want to put more butter. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the more butter. Mmm. Mmm. Good call with the sausage sandwich. Yeah. It's so good. It's really hot. I'm gonna eat some of just the bread, so I can just taste the bread part. Mmm. Mmm. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Those worked out well though. Still has like that. That's good. That dinner roll texture somehow. Right. Without. So it's like a little bit dense mm -hmm. because our yeast didn't rise like we wanted it mm -hmm. to. But it still tastes really good. Uh huh. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. It just kind of has like a little a bit little of bit sweetness of a, mm -hmm. maybe in there. But it just is like this nice little bread roll. It's so good. I want more butter. The yeah. butter's so good. The butter like really sets it off the roof. It oh, really man. sets it off the roof. Don't worry about it. I'm eating. <laughs> I mean, it's true, though. <coughs> Holy cow. I know. Mm. Mm. I feel like we're going to eat all these. I'm going to eat this all right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Do you guys like watching us eat? That's a thing. Mm. I think. There is this one girl who's, like, famous on YouTube or, like, one of these things that she just, like, eats... LOL, why won't you use some gloves or something if it's hot? Because... That's too many accessories. Yeah, right? I have to, like, go get gloves. You have to feel the pain. That's how you know you're alive. Plus, like, plus after, like, years of cooking, these, these pinchers, mm -hmm. they're impervious. I want more of that. Um, Here, give one to Derek. I'm going to give one to Derek. I'm going to be right back. Should we put more butter on his? I don't want it to drip everywhere. So just a little bit. Well, you know, if you want to use gloves, you use gloves. There is no right or wrong way. You want some? Or callous your fingers up. <laughs> where, where are you? <laughs> I 
Are you near LA? Then maybe I'll cook for you. I didn't get any feedback. He just stuffed it in his mouth. Okay. We <laughs> can bite. sit. We can sit back down while we eat. Sure. I'm gonna lower the camera. I'm gonna keep eating. Is what's gonna happen. I know these are so good. Um, oh, but I was talking about this girl that was famous on, on for eating YouTube or whatever. She she was famous for eating because she could eat insane amounts of food. She would just like oh. it was just like so crazy. But we're, like. Okay. I don't know if I could watch that. I don't really like the sounds of food sloshing in someone else's mouth. <gasps> but I think it was more just about like how much you would eat. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Uh, um, I kind of want to try it with just like a teeny little bit. Because if this is just sriracha, it's, spicy. it's not super it's spicy. A different, it's, a different, it's, it's a different brand of sriracha. So that, it's actual like, spicy? It doesn't taste like regular sriracha. Oh. It's actually better. In my opinion. Because if it's like actually. This is the best sriracha I've ever sriracha. had. Did you know that there was an R? Yeah. See, I just learned that. Anyway. Because like actual sriracha isn't like super spicy, I can No, this one, this I mean, one it's is not more. super spicy, but it is more spicy. Try it. Here, I'm gonna try just like a little. Um, wow, what did I miss on this thing? <laughs> LOL, okay. Big black nigga says, come cook for me, I'll pay top dollar 100. I could fly you guys out. My dad has a private jet. Hey! I mean, I'm not complaining. Where are you? Did he say where he is? I asked. He didn't respond. Okay. I mean, there's a little bit of delay, so. My dad is an oil investor in Connecticut. I love Connecticut. Interesting. Is there oil in Connecticut, or is he just an investor? I mean, that's true. I mean, I'm from There's oil here. Yeah. There's all these oil rigs on the south side of LA. Opinion? That's an opinion. I think it's like, it's like more garlicky sriracha. Yeah, that's not super spicy. I can handle that. Oh, oh Brad, he, he loves butter. He loves it. Look at, oh my god. Oh, well, you might as well clean that. I know. <laughs> I don't know so what sweet. it is about butter. Like, do your dogs like butter? Yeah. That's how I give them medicine. It's the easiest butter. way. Butter, interesting. Mm -hmm. Because I've done ketchup, I've done peanut butter. Eventually, they'll know it's in there. But with butter, it just like slips into your mouth. Mm. And they love it enough, they don't care. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so weird. I've never had a dog before. Oh. So, I like didn't think that butter would be a thing that like dogs would like. I mean, they like everything. What? <laughs> Love him. Derek says, Lauren, can you put some more of that in my mouth? <laughs> we should have made more sausages. I'll make you more. I can make more sausages. Easy peasy. Yeah. These are good. They're really good. They're so good. They're so good. It didn't. It didn't even matter that they didn't rise. They taste so good. That's just flour. You don't want that. Okay. I mean, it's funny, like because they didn't rise, it, it's like a dense roll, which mm -hmm. I don't. I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I'm it's not more mad like it. hearty in your mouth. But it is still like the texture of them is still kind of that doughiness. Yeah, so it's not. It's actually not far off, which I think is what the squash does to it. Mm. I love cooking with squash. Like one of my favorite things to make is zucchini brownies. Ooh, right? Because I like zucchini cake. Mm-hmm. I like zucchini brownies. Bread. I haven't had. That's so interesting. I like because it. it makes. I mean, I. You're putting this in his mouth. This is not. It just like makes things Excuse so moist. You. Hi. He's a Hi. butter fiend. This dog. You know, me and you, me and you both, man. I know. You me and you both. Where in Connecticut are you at? What? This uh, oil investor guy. I'm gonna keep going. Cause it's so good. It's butter, it's maple rosemary butter. It's so good. All right, our last two. It's true sadness. No. We're coming to an end here. I know we are, but thank you for the good people that are just are tuning in. I mean, to be honest, I might mm, make more sense. I'm serious, lol. I just graduated from trade school. Doing what? What did? What trade did you learn? Oh, Theodore Knight. Oh, it's not Theodore. I thought it was. I cannot read. I thought it was Theodore oh, Knight the door. Falls. The door. But it's Knight the Falls. door. Oh, you should have corrected us. Falls. I'm so sorry. It was nice hanging out with you, ladies. Good luck. Oh, thank thanks. you. Are See you with us? Gareth says, "Okay, you guys, make me hungry now. I'll cook something." <laughs> yeah, these what are, are no cook? joke. 
What are you going to cook? And it is breakfast time, and we are making little breakfast that sausage sandwiches, so I'm in Glastonbury. Oh. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. I bet it's pretty. It sounds like it a pretty place. It sounds like a pretty place. sounds like that's where the Gatsby Mansion is or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Overlooking, like, the Long Island Sound. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Derek's back. This is the last one. We can make more sauce. Did we blow your mind? Yeah, what is, how what long is, that I have no was. idea. I have no idea, like, what I just ate. <laughs> um, they're the pumpkin squash rolls with rosemary maple butter and sriracha. This is mine. We'll we make can, we can make more. We're going to make more sausage. And um, these are pumpkin rolls? Yeah. We can make more. I'm going to do underwater welding for the Navy. No way. That's so cool. Interesting. Frazzy. Shut up. He got some butter. Whoops. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't put a lot on mine. You want to put more? It's really good sriracha. I could drink that sriracha. This is fix sriracha. Mm. Oh my god, I've never heard of it. Where do you buy it from? Amazon. Do you buy most of your things on Amazon? Because yeah. you can you can access a lot of things on Amazon mm -hmm. that you can't in a regular store, which is so yeah, cool. which is nice. Yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> Where do you buy all your groceries? I oh. feel like you would only go to fancy grocery stores. Do you ever go to Ralph's? No. <laughs> I can't even stand the color in there. Like, I feel uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Do you go to like Erewhon? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I do imperfect produce. I used to do what I, I tried them. Uh huh. But mm -hmm. I wasn't happy with the produce I was getting. Because you need them not to look because perfect. It's, not because it's. I need them to look perfect, but because I would always get something rotten in the box, Ooh. which just like annoyed me so much. Yeah, it happens. I'm sorry. What and like? It sucks. Yeah, and then it would just like make the things next to it gross. Yeah, and so as yeah, that happened to me a couple times. Yeah, and luckily enough, when we used to live on our boat, our neighbor slash friends, uh, she actually owns the. Farm box, which bought Imperfect Produce. Mm. But anyway, they would. Can you guys see this right now? Yeah. Oh, this is Brazos. <laughs> this is Brazos. Hello, bud. He loves butter. Mm -hmm. And when he begs he for snuck things, some, he, not, he, he snuck to, some butter in. Yeah. Hi, mom. Um, but they would like have tons of extra produce sometimes, and just be like, "Hey, do you want this entire box of tomatoes?" That's a lot, right? So, I guess we can make tomato sauce. Well. Anyway, yeah. we have a really good farmer's market in Hollywood. Nice. It's huge. Nice. Like, we haven't even been to the whole thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. I never, like, I don't end up seeming to have time in my schedule to, like, go when the farmer's market happens. Yeah, because it's always, like, Sunday between blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And it's just, like, a whole ordeal. Yeah. Because it's, it's not, we could walk. I do, um, I like, I like it when I'm able to. But yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's like kind of far. It's too, it's, we, it's walkable, but then when you buy things, you don't want to walk back. Mm. And so when we drive there, then you have to find parking. Yeah, that's the and LA, then, that's the problem with LA. Right, it's and it's like kind of so stuff. crowded and busy. And I feel like going to the farmer's market is like an event where you have to like look fancy. Oh, we're missing on so many of these. I know, I'm trying to be so, so many. many of these, I'm, I need to get better at looking at the comments. Okay, um, I'm going to do, okay. Hey, I saw a big cute dog. Who's his or her name? So, Gara, that is my dog, Brazos. He's a boy, and yes, he's very cute and big, and he loves food, and his favorite thing is butter, which <laughs> we're eating lots of. So, he is all over us right now. He did sneak some of this butter that we had on the table. I'm, I'm not mad at he it. He stuck his you face know? right in there. S same. Um, so, ladies, is there any possible way I wonder you could cook for me? Maybe you guys could have... Hidden in a cooking environment. Wait, oh, am hidden, I hiding in a cooking environment? Hidden in talent in a cooking environment. Wait, I don't get it. Could you, like, rephrase that? So, hit, yeah. I and mean, then money my you. talent with cooking is not hidden. It's pretty obvious. I'm yeah, sure. we live streamed <laughs> it. <laughs> um, and also, hit, money Lu too says you two are beautiful. Thank you. Thank that you. is so sweet. Um. That Can you tell me that every morning when I wake up? Like, could we have a live feed of your of your like compliments <laughs> on my mirror? I I Wouldn't feel that like great? that would be a good live yes. feed of somebody just like constantly giving out compliments. Yeah, like People good morning, you're beautiful. Like, I would love that. 
Right? And like anytime you're feeling bad, you can just tune. It's going to have to be like a 24 vibes. hour live stream <laughs> of somebody giving you compliments. And so anytime you felt bad, you could always tune on that to this live stream. Guys, we're giving out so many good ideas. If someone can create that, like, I'm down. Yeah. I would invest in that. Mm-hmm. I mean, right? Interesting. Why don't you do it? Well, it's too much work. It's a lot. Of work. I, 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 I dabble in enough things. <laughs> it's good. Um, the only thing is that I don't approve of weed. That's okay. That's okay. You, you don't, don't have to, have have to have put it. weed in any of these things. You could just use regular butter. Yeah. Which happens a lot of the time. A lot of the time, the recipes that I make on this show are just regular recipes that I end up adding cannabis butter mm-hmm. to. And then Oof. it's so easy to substitute butter with cannabis butter because it is mm-hmm. like a cup for cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me too. Um, he, he's... he's it, Brazos is really, really begging right now. You want more butter? Uh... I mean, you already licked this butter, but no. I do not have the authority. No, he doesn't need butter. You're fine, bud. He's like, but I heard butter is good um, for you. But anyway, you guys, thank you for... What's the nicest car you've ever been in? A Tesla. Um, oh, yeah, I've been in a Tesla. I've actually had a Tesla Uber once, really? which was, like, very faster. Derek used to have a Jaguar, and my dad has a sports car. It's, do you know what kind? It's called a Quavali Mangusta. Okay. Do you know what that is? I don't know what that is. I don't know enough about cars. Yeah, I like I trucks. But anyway, we finished our our rolls. And guys, if you're just tuning in now, <laughs> we're already done. But we made pumpkin dinner rolls. And we made little sandwiches with breakfast sausage and some maple rosemary butter. Which really made it, what did you say, off the charts? or so, I don't remember. What Blew you, the lid off. Blew the, the lid off. I don't know what I said. So, I was eating. I was like, But it's Whoa. true, guys. I think that the butter really, really made it. Oh, and, always. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in and watching our live stream. And thank you for my friend Kay for showing me her bread roll recipe. You are welcome. And um, thank you guys for watching. I already yeah. said that. I already thanked you guys. Let me We're start. so thankful. Let's start over. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. And thank you for my friend Kay, who showed us how to make her bread rolls. You're welcome. And the butter. And she brought the sausage. And um, I will see you guys next week. Yeah. Who are you bringing next week? Do you know that? My friend Nikki is going to be on next cool. week. Yeah, and I don't know what we're going to make because she actually doesn't cook. Ooh, that'll be so fun, So she though. doesn't have a recipe to show me, which is fine, because I can show, show her, show her yeah. something. And so we're going to pick just something new that's, like, one of her favorite dishes or just something that we both like. I love this, like, bring your friends on dynamic. It, like, changes things up a lot. Yeah, like, I'm really, I've really, i so really different. been enjoying it. I'm like, I don't even care if you guys don't like the live stream. That's a lie. I, I want you <laughs> guys to also like it. But it's been way more fun for me to have my friends on and to, like, interact with you guys and share food with you guys. And yeah. And eat together. And eat together. Break bread. Oh! On that note. <laughs> On that note. Um, hmm. If you like trucks, have you ever seen a Rolls Royce truck in person? No, but I thought it was Rolls Royce. I, I know. Um, but anyway, we are signing off. And Brazos says goodbye. Brazos, speak. 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 There we go. That was close enough. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.